niggas out here rocking Gucci drawers full of shit stains, full of shit, passing me your shitty ass mixtape. Oh, so one, they have Rollo at number one. What? Made twelve million dollars in the trap, bro. Like they had, they had him number one because you feel me. Twelve million. Yeah. I don't know. Jeezy. Je Jeezy was one Jeezy, of Jeezy, Jay Z, and Fat Joe, I've heard, have had some pretty crazy amounts of bread before the rap game. Right. I'm like, me, I was just like, 12 million. I'm like, them as niggas that literally started rapping just to clean up their money and to, act, and to be like, because they was like, well, rap niggas always rapped about having money. So then it's like, if we had the money, we had more money than the rap niggas. So it was like, shit, if they can talk shit, we might as well talk shit. So that's why. And, and I, I respect it. I'm like, okay, I seen Jeezy was like number six. They didn't have, they had Jay Z on there. He was like, he he was like four. He was like eight. They had they had Freeway Rick Ross on there. Not not the Rick Ross to be his boss. Freeway Rick Ross. No. Huh? Yeah, not not him. Well, then they really tripping me because if they was doing regular gangsters and rappers and they put Rollo at number one, this list is stupid. Rollo probably made this list. Did y'all hear about this nigga? Um, y'all heard about that nigga? Uh, Hell Real getting beat up in that store, right? Yeah. Wait, what? Hold on, I need. He got beat up in front of his barber and they at the Chinese. In front of his oh, that was Joe the nigga that took off. Him. That he yeah, got beat up. So why was he dissing Joe Button hard as fuck? What? Like he got a whole, bro, he got a whole freestyle to this nigga Joe Button. And it's like he literally did an acapella. It's hilarious as the fuck. He is like, he is like, <laughs> he said, my watch so sick in the bed rest. <laughs> what? And then he was like, he said, the guy died this outfit. <laughs> like this nigga is ugly. He died as out there. Joe Bud was like, no, nigga, you died at that salad bar. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Bud was blazing this nigga, but Joe Bud always come hard. I'm like, I hope, I don't even say I hope they work, but Joe Bud really be talking shit. He talked that shit, but like, I like, I was just answering like, bro, what was that at with consequence? Because Tahiri had to kept, Tahiri had to chin check this nigga for you. Because mm. he, you talking about, let's go to the green room. He, he already swung, he already clocked your ass. To hear what stopped him from really knocking your ass out was your girl hitting that nigga in the chin. It was all on Love and Hip Hop. That's back then. Love and Hip Hop really was on crack. When Love and Hip Hop was really crap, like, bruh, you couldn't miss no reunion show. Couldn't miss none of that, bruh. Because it went down. Joe Bunch trying to get off the stage all clean and shit. I think Cousin was just like, nigga, He's you know? now, bruh. Yeah, but it's it snuggy. They was walking away. He punched him in the back of the head. And that it, was a weak ass back of the head punch. If you want to hit a nigga from behind listen, him, you don't punch him in his head. You punch him in his jaw. You're not. Gonna even if a nigga punch you in the back of your head, wait. If I if I did that to you, he's still gonna come. In. He's, you ain't gonna tell me to go to no fucking green room, bro. Yeah, that's gonna make me even madder. <laughs> like, go to the right. green room, nigga. Go to the green room, nigga. See what happened, like. Nigga, we yeah, right here, bro. I'm everybody. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have to fight everybody. <laughs> right, bro. Once I turn in the fight mode, I'm turning around, and I'm running in the direction of whoever assaulted me. And whoever's in the way, he had man, a, woman, or child. He literally had <laughs> Listen, he had a pass. I gave Joe Buzz the pass. Until he got back, was like, we could have went to the green room. Like, bro. The green room, nigga? The green room, bro? Like, bro, they're going to record you anyway, even if they went to the green room. Right, we going to see this fight. Because, like, bro, you might... Was gonna happen. The we girl, bro, I ain't trying to... My fault. I'm like, bro, your girl chin checked this nigga, bro. You did. Your girl chin checked your, check this nigga. That calmed that nigga down. That nigga was like, my fault. So, how do you feel about women that jump into altercations when you with them? Like, because we got... We got two situations. We got her swinging on what's his name, chin checking him, and then we got the hell real situation where his mom and his grandma. Literally, if you watch the video, whoever that girl is that's with him, she kind of just gets up and gets out the fucking way. Cause she know that's not and her just, position, bro. She just let him get his ass whooped up. Bro, listen, females. I hope this is why y'all y'all need to listen. You can be about that life all you fucking want. But if you can't take a fucking punch, fall the fuck back. Let your nigga get his ass stuck. He not gonna be mad at you if you look if you sat there and watch him get his ass whooped. He gonna be mad at you if you sat there and watch him get his ass whooped and then you leave the nigga. 
That's where niggas get salty. Like, bitch, what? Because nine times out of ten, a nigga ain't even get his ass whooped because of him. He gets his ass whooped because of you. Mm. So, hell yeah. Like, I remember once upon a time, I got Jade out, freshman high school. I should have asked one girl, like, hey, you about to break up with me? She said, why you say that? I'm like, nigga, I just got my shit rocked. Like, I was like, I got a couple in, but for real, for real, I was in there leaking. Like, I, you feel me? I, I lost, man. Like, for real, I, I had to break a couple shits in the office to let niggas know I was still thug. Like, <laughs> I got I got my ass whooped in that gym. And I was like, she was like, for real, you got jumped. I can see if you, it was just one-on-one. But I don't even see how a girl could, I mean. But you, we ended up breaking up two is a, nigga, is a girl going to just leave a nigga for getting me? Is that, is that, is that, that, that girl's determination like, if you just Why not? You can't protect them. The girls love you would be surprised. You, you would be right. surprised. You would, you would a girl would definitely girl. question that situation at now, that point. Cause, cause it's that, super masculine too. that can't be attractive. Look, to get it, it's not because now the girl thinks she can beat your ass. And then on top of that, you like, bro, that, you do gotta answer that. You know, girls talk shit, and you know she telling her girls about it. Oh, and if you ever talk shit to her again, or if you ever act like you can fight, but if you ever don't maybe get like that nigga fight, that beat your ass, then it's like, bro. Or you trying to talk to your niggas to talk about another time you want to fight? Just either she saying it out loud or in her head. She like the time we was together, you got your ass beat by some nigga. That shit was <laughs> like now if you just get your ass beat by a, just one nigga in front of your girl. Mm-hmm. You feel me? She can sneak in and cause a distraction. She can interfere in that match. But if it's multiple niggas, multiple, you don't get in. If your nigga get, uh, and he fall, don't jump in. If your nigga get hit and he don't fall, you can cause that interference. But if that nigga get hit and he fall, don't jump in, nigga. That's the, now it's one-on-one, you and him. I kind of will on the side of, like, I'd rather they just move the fuck out the way. Because like, if I get rocked, I'm like, you probably going to get rocked. You need to get the fuck out the way. Because clearly if I got rocked and I'm out, out, some shit real done went down. <laughs> you might, you might want to step the fuck out the way. Like, and I'm just like, damn. like I just, man, I, man. I agree with you, though. If it's one-on-one and it's some shit like that, nah, you can you go, go and just go, interfere go, to go, give me that go, upper go, hand right, real, quick. real quick. Like, don't let me lose one-on-one. Like, I can... Like, come on, now. We a team. We a team. But I mean, for her, it didn't even seem like she even. Yeah, she, she just like. She ain't. She went and screamed. You know, she, 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 she knew. She was like, I can't do nothing. What I'm going to do, grab a knife? I ain't no rapper. I'm just a nigga. She probably analyzed in that moment. Clearly, we out to eat. Somebody just ran up on this nigga. He did something. Right. Let me get the fuck I'm, I'm not dying for this nigga. I'm just a girlfriend. I ain't the wife. If it was his baby mom. Even after this is baby mom, I got I got to raise his kid. That I nigga that Marte said, "I'm on the ground, jump in." <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. So I, like, you, I, so I feel you wanted so you you want to jump in. Throw you some, like, throw some shit, bitch. You would throw shit at me. Throw shit at these niggas. Like me, that's why I always be telling. Like I tell girls, not to my little sister, my baby mom, my cousins, all these, all the girls in my life. I be telling them, like, look, stop popping that shit. Cause one day. It's niggas out here who really don't give a fuck. That don't. And like, then I'm like, they waiting on it. They right? waiting. They waiting on y'all. And I'm like, and oh, I'm like, the more and more time goes on, the more and more y'all women fight for equal equality and all of that. Y'all want the same rights as niggas. Y'all want to be treated the same as niggas and right, all that. Definitely. Y'all want to think y'all niggas. Okay, you gonna get your ass beat like a nigga. Don't be crying like a little bitch now. Don't don't be a bitch now. Remember, you want to be Miss Gotti. Remember. You, you was rapping all that Yo Gotti shit, Gucci shit. Remember you telling me you know all my spots? They ain't made, stop making bills when they made yours. Like, facts. Like, man, you see that she was talking that shit, Lil Reese motherfucking fucking Luke Kanger shit. Like, they ain't stop making bills. Like, what the fuck? And then after he Luke Kanger, he gave her the Austin Mudhole stuff. <laughs> man, I don't want her ass that. to jump in because then she get her ass whooped and then she like, see, fucking with you? Nah, see? I didn't tell you to do that. Your dumb ass jumped in. <laughs> now, now, now you gotta go answer that to everybody else. Like, why you let your girl get beat up? Like, nigga, I First of all, I was knocked the fuck out. Right. Right. I was knocked the fuck yeah, out. Nobody like, tell her ass. Her mission was to go to the car and go get help. Right. Go to the car, go get help. Go get the car. Get the fuck out of here, girl. Definitely. Go to the car and call for help. 
Make us some like, like, hey, it's 30 niggas on one nigga and they all got guns. He said, pull them off, throw hands, lay over me, just do something. <laughs> pull them off. Pull them off. Say, bro, that's why you need to be here, bro. They needed that on camera, like that. Like, I like, it's some girls out here who really got hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's also some girls, just because you got hands don't mean. I ain't saying fight, you know what I'm saying? I don't want my girl to jump in and motherfucking try and fight a nigga, no. So what are you, I, what are you trying to, act? what are you thinking? Scream, hype me up, like, let me get that Rocky Balboa in there. Rocky! Like, oh. be like, oh, be oh like, so don't be no My bitch here, man, like, y'all be fucked up. And also, be in the background, throw some shit. Right. A shoe, a heel, <laughs> like. Get your keys, stab a nigga in the fucking eye. I don't give a fuck. Something. I got it. One. Something scratch a nigga's foot. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't want my girl. Like, if it's two, three, four niggas, no. She got yeah. her abort mission. Yeah, if, if it's two, three, three four, four niggas, that's what I'm she saying. Got her Guess what? Mission. I don't want to get you knocked out. Because if you get knocked out, I'm questioning if I want you. I don't give a fuck if it's a nigga or not. I'm questioning. Because I'm to me, I'm like, just last week he was talking that shit to me. Jessica got bro. You gotta, you gotta love her forever, bro. What? Just because she saw your life. We both got that L. Right. So I'm gonna get to the side. We both got the same bro. Did nobody tell you to jump in? Nobody told you to jump in. We all in the agreements right here. It's a male or female fighting. No, no, no. Jump in to see. No, no. We on the subject of four niggas. We on the three, four nigga subject. Right. We ain't on this one on one. Right. We this is the three, four nigga. So let's see. Three, four niggas. She jump in. She get her ass stumped it's out. It's me, Cap J. Ball, whooping your eyes in, your, in front of your girl. She and then your girl man. come over here. And she, she get, get him the fuck out right. of KO. Then she get punted. Then the curb stomp. I I'm going to like, be like, bro, you a real bitch. Like, at least you. <laughs> at least she was there with me. Hey. If a bitch watched me get my ass whooped horrifically, and she just in the background like, oh, my God. And then afterwards, she like. She's not in the background. Right, she got the her ass whooped. And what you mean? No, I'm saying if she, hit, but it, the, I would be mad if a chick just watched me get my ass whooped and, then, and like didn't scream, like went not went scared, didn't attempt to throw nothing and help me out. Nah, so because you anything you, that happened, so you, can, me, you would be obligated to stick with her. Right, if she got I, that ass whooped. Right, you, yeah, but good, bro. Because well, I then, can't leave her, especially if but I was her go, But the nigga that whooped her ass gets the pass. Hey, all the ass whooping that nigga gave her, you gave her, nigga. Because you had her get into the fight. Now she on the phone with her friend. Girl, I can't believe, bitch, this nigga had, bitch, my jaw broke, bitch, my nails, I just got my hair done, bitch. Because if fuck around with this weak ass nigga, this nigga got my ass beat, bitch. Like, I ain't even do nothing. I wouldn't even try to get in. I ain't even do nothing. She wouldn't even try to fight now. She got so, she got knocked the fuck out. I don't want to be she, with her. Bitch, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I want to be able to start my own story. I don't want her right. to be next to me to be able right. to Because you story. know when you go back to the homies, you like 50 niggas out. You, feel, you put them hands down. Niggas didn't want no work. You gotta, I mean, we both got our ass. Look, listen, man. right. I got to be able to tell this. Story. She cannot be next to me be like, no, no, let me tell you. No, I don't know. No, no, I will say, if she's my wife, we're married, then you better get in here. I'm not going back home to our kids and telling them I got my ass whooped. Oh, we I'm get us. If we married, you get your ass whooped with me. Now we we tied together. This nigga Marte said two, three niggas jumping us. She better be fighting. If my girl's sitting here not fighting and we get, I get jumped by two, three niggas, that's her ass. <laughs> so, that's how it can really go wrong. Real quick. Marte, like, you love me? Freezing. You love me? Bitch! <laughs> like, like, he just let me get jumped like the same. He probably like, bro, the same ass. I thought they gonna bust my lid and shit. If I'm getting jumped and one of my niggas bang out on me, that's you get the same treatment, bitch. <laughs> you get the same treatment. If I'm getting jumped and one of my niggas is there and they don't throw nothing, hit a nigga, do nothing, and they just bang out, that's the same shit my bitch get, bro. And that's like one nigga. If it's one nigga, it's the same rule. If it's 1v1, your nigga take an L, you like, bro, you it was 1v1, bro. But if you get J. You have to help. And if it's a girl, you got to, I mean, some sort of distraction or something. But If it's the homie 1v1, that's you. If it's 1v1 and your girl's there, she better help. Like, honestly, unless you're just really knocking the nigga out. If it looks like it's going to be a competition, bitch, get in there. Cause a distraction. Gotta get mine. Boom. We out. No. Check this spot. What if the nigga hits your girl while you're... I mean, it's all the same. Hey, see, if your, if your girl gets hit in a one versus one, nigga, you turn into the Incredible Hulk. You get the superpower now. 
You get the superpower. Now you really in there body slumming employees, all types of shit. Whoever there. You at this church, the pastor might get like you the highest percentage to win this fight. Facts. Like, this gives you the best chance. Now, if you get jumped, you got to hear that from her family. Now, you got to deal with her daddy and his peoples. And all, all, bro, you don't want that smoke. Hell yeah. Well, ring, 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 man. We <laughs> back in the class with the cool kids talking about the cool shit, man. We chilling, man. It's Easter. You still got my pink shirt on, bro. And I got shorts on because I'm a trendsetter. So, man, how much was Easter today, man? Was it good? Yeah, it, it was good. My, my daughter finally got to meet her real family. Her biological family, so it was real. It was real for me. She got to see all the other dentists. It was funny because it was not my uncle Fred just had a daughter. That's like her birthday next month, and um, she was in there yelling because they was they babies. So they was having a baby competition. It was hilarious. <laughs> Arby ran up on one, ran up on her, and then Heaven was just like. Little fucker, and we fucked up. Then I'm heaven, the babies, baby. Heaven was trying to motherfucker. She was like, "I'm younger, so I'm the baby." Heaven tried to snatch her motherfucking binky off. Army motherfucking grabbing her hair. I'm like, "Listen, y'all cousins, chill the fuck out." Like, a baby competition. I really had to be like an uncle slash daddy. It was awkward as fuck. Like, yeah, you had to lie to like, cause I'm like, damn, like dealing with your own child and dealing with another person's child. Then you really, that's when it really hit you, like, it really hit me, like, damn, I'm really a, really a parent. Right. Now, I'm, I'm watching, I'm, I'm other parts of the house still, with my daddy eye, playing cards still, like, you got me fucked, sit your ass down, you got me fucked up. Hell yeah, yelling at kids is fun, bro. It is, bro. And they like getting yelled at, too, they bad. And it, it's, it's, I just love the fact that we at the age, and because it was Easter, and now we're of age. The boss, the little ones around, I'm taking full advantage of it. Because remember, when we was young, going to cookouts was a full-time job for us. Just if we was hungry, we had to work for our plates. You had to go get your mom an ice cup. You had to go get her a beer. You had to go get the wine out the freezer. You had to go, it was, go get me a paper plate. Go fix that. It was always, go get me something before you can even get what you want or even ask. So now that now, I'm at that age, well, cousin, you know, you know it's Easter, so I have to boil eggs. I'm talking shit, cause I'm over here like struggling to peel my eggs. I ain't, ain't no boiled egg in a minute. I had to peel an <laughs> egg in a minute. Like what the fuck? So I'm over here like, damn, like back in the day, I was quick with this shit. Like <laughs> the fuck going on? She talking shit like I peel way better than you. I'm like, oh yeah, you can reverse like Oh, you do? Kids into doing anything. Straight like, pour another one. Like, which one of y'all? You you nah, you watch this? Nah, you actually watch dishes better than her. You watch the dishes. You I watch dishes <laughs> way better than him. Well, who won it? Somebody gotta watch these dishes. I don't know which one of y'all Bro. watch dishes the best. Bro, I don't know if y'all wanna I, like swap. I'm so happy, like you like should, man. we really get <laughs> <laughs> facts. Who gives a damn? See how easy that was. It, like so it dumb. worked. But I mean, it's like that scenario you said is a hundred percent proof. It's because we're like, literally teaching them everything. Like we teaching them stuff. Like, like it's crazy watching little babies and shit like that. Like I remember Jasmine, like when she like everybody be talking. So you see little kids looking at everybody like, what the fuck is these niggas talking about? What is these niggas doing? And then like you go, they go from you know what I'm saying, actually just like trying to actually say words. Then they like get a word, and then they got a couple words. And then, like, Jasmine, she be mad because she didn't hear everybody else talking. So she didn't want to talk, too. But she only can talk about a couple things. Because she's like, I only know so much stuff. So this is some of the stuff I know for the class. So she's like, uh, Halloween, witches are scary. <laughs> um, uh, dogs, sassy, onyx, they're both very cute. Um, I also like cupcakes. Cupcakes are good. So, you know what I'm saying? They just go through their whole little list of shit that they know. Super cute, but. right? It was it was adorable because Aubrey she was she older than Heaven, but Heaven she can stand on her own. She can't take the steps, but she can stand. Aubrey can't stand on her own, but she can take the steps. But Aubrey can talk a little bit. But like my daughter got me, she got me on some other shit right now. I'm you know, you know how they always start making movies like babies is geniuses for real. And babies is really in town. I be, I be wondering for my daughter because she be fucking with me. I don't know if I just be high. But, or I'm like, is she fucking with me? Sometimes I ask, like, is she fucking with me right now? Or the other day. She just smile. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All, like, all she says is, Arby, 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 daddy, daddy, daddy. 
green, green. But it's like I'm Groot from like that's how I look at her. I look at her like Groot from motherfucking uh yeah. uh what's the motherfucking yeah, yeah Guardians of God. I look that's how I look at her because I'm like. You keep saying the same shit, but I know what you're saying. And she be cut like I like I know my daughter be cussing. I'm like, like I can tell by her tongue. Like when I be talking to her, I be having to tell her wash her mouth. Oh yeah, I could definitely tell. Like, like one time when she was trying to, uh, you had her on the phone. She was like, I said it, damn. She was like, uh, uh-huh, say it again. Let me say that. Like, like little girl, like, but she got out the bed. Like you, you know, like I ain't think she get. If you hear a baby get out the bed, you you looking for that thump. Doom, doom. So she be throwing toys off the bed. Boom, boom, boom. I went in there. Toys was on the floor. She went to bed in the middle where she was at, drinking her juice, watching cartoons. I go in the room. I go in the living room. Start rolling up that good sticky. Oh my god. All I hear is do, do, do. We watching King Kong in this bitch. Like literally, it's aggressive ass thumps. I'm sitting here, I look at I look at my baby mama, I'm like, she in her room? She's like, nah, she in the bed. I'm like, damn, she in the bed. Huh. All you hear is, daddy, doom, doom, doom. Come around the corner, how the fuck you get off the bed? She ain't crying, none of that. So now, me for like three hours, me and my me and my baby mom was just picking her up, sitting her on the bed, just kept saying, I see how she got off, like, get off the bed. Get off. She ain't gonna get that information up, man. She, 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 she wasn't. But Easter was good. Got to see the family ate good. Got some Easter cookies. Y'all ain't here with us to share. You feel me? Well, I probably would share with I I'll probably get a few of y'all did some cookies, but you feel me? We got drinks, you feel me? I'm just happy I'm here. Got to see the kitties. Shout out to my brothers. Happy Easter, you feel me? Happy Easter, happy Easter. Happy Easter, Easter Marte. I was laying into it, man. What's up with these topics? Topics. So, first, I did have Barty first, but we're going to talk about Sanaya Lathan. And I titled it, Bitch, You Crazy. Oh, man. Because Sanaya Lathan. So, when I say brown sugar, nigga, I see why Beyonce have to run up over there. Jay-Z, like, both and all them movies. He, like, loving basketball, brown sugar, predator. So, if y'all didn't know out there, the Tiffany Haddish. Dropped a story about somebody biting Beyonce at a party, but now some more info done came out. It was a deuce. It was the Duce VIP party off of the. Uh, they was on the four 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 tour, and it's been uh, said by multiple sources that Sanaa, what, what's her name? Sanaa Lathan. Yeah, Lathan. she is the culprit that has bitten the beloved Beyonce. Hey, she, that's that brown sugar. I know y'all seen her in Tay Diggs. Brown sugar, baby. I, brown sugar, baby. I don't know, bro. I love Beyonce, but I've always felt like she was like slightly overhyped. Not her music, but just like her looks and shit like that. But I don't know. I mean, she cool. And it's also like, I like seeing people like that get, get not get touched. But you feel me? That's, like, we always like, and, and it's not that it's it not worth it. It seems pretty random. It's not that it's not worth it. She was on them drugs. Who but 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 like, that's what she they was on. Yeah, but that's, but that's the reason why they was about to fight her. Tiffany Haddish and them was about to but, fight. But, but, uh, wait, like the but, but, let's be real. Beyonce stopped it. And then Beyonce, Beyonce dropped, dropped lemonade. Jay Z dropped four four four. Jay Z cheated. Solange booked that ass in that elevator. So now Lathan, who's known to be a freak, who just recently ended the relationship with French Montana, she all up in Jay Z's face. Not to mention, Jay Z done seen brown sugar. It was done in New York in his head. Jay Z done seen Predator. Jay Z done seen. Was she nasty in Predator too? She was looking good as fucking Predator. Oh. Jay Z also seen her in Love and Basketball. You feel me? She in person now. She probably was smelling good. Jay Z thought Beyonce was on the other side of the road. She all close to shit. Remember Beyonce? They Tiffany said before she dropped the one part about Beyonce getting bit. She said Beyonce went over there, snatched the girl up. Like what you doing? Uh uh-uh. uh. And stood by Jay Z. She didn't say she snatched her up. Like well, that's not what I heard. Like because I don't think as has been unfolding. It was originally from what I heard. I thought it was like because I heard Beyonce come at Tiffany Haddish. First in the what's it called song the uh the the this the, the, the top the top, top off. Off. yeah top off 
So I heard that she had like, and then no, but I also heard in an interview it was that like you said, Beyonce had said, but well, Tiffany had said something about Beyonce seeing her a girl talking to Jay Z, and she just said that she walked up and kind of just tapped her on the shoulder, just like it was two separate incidents. And checked her. Oh, so that's two these, separate. yeah, these are two. No, these are two separate incidents. Yeah. Uh, that was a different one with that one that they didn't So that had brought the light to it first, and then that's when and then she was just dropped this more recently. Was like, yeah, somebody yeah. bit and insinuated that somebody bit her, and that's what it. That's what made everybody start it's questioning. Man. She oh, got right. all the scoops. She gonna be fucking running her mouth. Yeah. Though. People are not gonna like that. I like. I, I'm fucking with the storylines, but honestly, I think they exactly what I just said. They like storyline. It just it's funny to me. We ain't never seen Beyonce like we seen Beyonce now. All of a sudden, Beyonce, she she like, I'm a Houston girl. She talking that shit. She like, fuck Kanye. We breaking this record at the Grammys. We well, all I mean, she kind of got a little bit of a leeway. Jay couldn't say shit because this nigga cheated. So she switched up everything as soon as that nigga cheated. Right. Like, she, it literally, she started to a whole different chick like, at that moment. She changed her like, name from Beyonce to B. Like, her new, she, like, that's how she, that's what she going by now, B. Oh, Not yeah. Beyonce, B. You know the chicks is super rational she, when they start just, like, it, like putting their name as just, Right, like, I'm like, is you Lil Wayne? Asian. Who is you? Like, you got Beyonce, you got Beyonce, you got... You got Sasha Fierce. You got Queen B. You, that's a little Kim. So it's two separate characters when... So basically, Beyonce to check two different chicks on behalf of Jay-Z after he had cheated. And this is this, this second time. So now I like them. It went crazy. She was like, yo, stop playing. I like the... No, this movie. second one, what supposedly it is, is Beyonce and Sanai was already in some type of conversation and Beyonce got bit. And Beyonce went to Jay Z like she just bit me, boom, boom, boom type shit. It wasn't the same way as the other one. The other one was her getting up, but well, me, she just exactly. Right. This, this one, one was, was Beyonce. Was Beyonce. Well, I thought y'all was saying it from what y'all saying. Oh, so they're separate. So it yeah, wasn't tonight. Yeah, they were trying to get that Jay Z. Nah, oh, nah. The first one, one was some other shit. shit. We don't even know who that chick is still. We we that one yeah. is. A, a whole different one. This one is just not. Nah, Cause, cause they said they said, <laughs> they said it was an actor. What you no? Know, the one girl that Beyonce came across the room. They said it was an actor. So I'm like, hmm, actor. And then this come out. So I like that she's an actress. So well, that's crazy that she. Was like, I'm glad that it's like motherfuckers is like shit is actually happening to like you know what I'm saying. I don't know. Like I know they royalty and shit like that, but. You gotta see people like well, I guess she did fall during that performance and shit. But you gotta see people in more human respects. You feel me? Like I don't know, like especially you know. Shit, her wall got broke down, nigga. She got cheated on, nigga. She everybody thought she was high and mighty and on the top of everything. Man, it was only a couple bitches being cheated on. Really ain't that crazy though. It like, is crazy, bro. It is crazy it, when that type of when when when, when, when you the nigga, hottest right. girl, the top girl. The top girl. That's just proof that it happens to everybody, especially when you know. What I'm it saying? is like, definitely proof, it's but proof it's that like damn. Everybody yeah. also on top of that, like I mean, she got the shit, bro, Relationships nigga. go for a long time, and maybe I don't know. Maybe I need time to like build my respect up for women and shit like that. But relationships go on for a long time, bro. Like if you really like, I don't know. Like, but being being with somebody for like 20, 30, 40 years, bro. The chick ain't gonna never like another nigga, fuck another nigga, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Females come into it with that motherfucking mindset. They always feel like a nigga gonna cheat on you. A nigga gonna cheat on you. You feel me? They say the shit. They feel the shit. That's why they but, go so hard to try it's, and Yeah, but, but it's like, like, yeah, that but still it's like good, that. bro. It's just rare for it, our generation. It, but it, yeah, it's, 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 it's that in that type of relationship, with him already being late twenties, early thirties, her being just turning eighteen when Dangerous Love came out. She had just turned 18. So she got bagged by her sugar daddy early. Mm. And he been putting her on game. He was even breaking that down on 444, telling like, when we got together, when I was cheating, you was getting on my nerves. You was immature as fuck. Yeah, that was wrong with me. Yeah, I was fucking up. But you was immature. Like, I had to mold. He was best talking about how he had to mold her. You feel me? And then, like, as you seen with Beyonce, do all her career. That's some real nigga shit to say. Beyonce is immature and like just saying nonchalant. Like, bro, that's my bitch, bro. I say whatever I want about her. She is immature. She like, she was immature. Sense. She was, and but Kanye, <laughs> you can't say that. 
Kanye said it. She like, you can't say that, bro. You can't. You cross the line. And then, just to hear, all these songs that Future been on with Jay-Z, Top Down, I Got the Keys, all these, supposed to be Kanye, Kanye yeah. yeah, this is Kanye's song. Jay-Z just was like, you know what, fuck you, you want to talk that shit? All right, I'm going to show you, nigga, I got the keys, watch. Mm -hmm. I don't even like this nigga Future. Yo, Future, you want to do this track? We know, got a true. request, bro. What? That you watch the Dragon Ball. Niggas want to talk about it. Like, it's been know, over, bro. I'm it's sad. over now, bro. and you still. Bro, we let a whole week go by, oh, and it's been brought back from request. And it's you just still, Marte. It's you just still just not. Play. We got plenty of topics. We'll, watch, we'll talk about it next week. Promise. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. I'm going to watch as soon as we deal with this. We'll watch it. All right. So, since we got in that, let's talk about Cardi B. She got the album dropping. I knew she was pregnant, by the way, at the BET Awards. Oh, like, so it's been confirmed that. that she is pregnant. I don't know if it's confirmed or not. But they keep saying Did you bro. listen to the song? Yes, I did. Listen, I think the hook was trash, but the, the lyrics was hard. Yeah, like, the, the verses was hard. The, the, like, like... I don't know that, like, how I feel, how her album gonna go, if it's about to be spectacular, because I'm like, if this is what you're about to bring the whole album... All I need to right, say, this Corey, might be okay. is don't ever use this ghostwriter again. It's like... He got the bars, but he don't got the hook, okay? And the hook really, the hook was so bad, it fucked the song, to be honest. I was like, I was you a little bit on but the I, side, like, oh, I don't is fuck. this what you bring it to the table? Like, I hope this is like that, bruh, bruh. Your other hits was way better. I'm like, I see why you said don't judge before you listen. I knew something was up when she said that. I was like, huh, what you about to do? Now but, that I'm seeing but I'm like, I respect what's it. it about though. What's the song? It feel like it's about offset, but then she like it's not nah. about offset. And I'm like, bro, but the lyrics clearly the sound lyrics like it's is about everything offset. offset been going through. The whole cheating with cheating, fucking with strippers, her really being a down bitch, her really wanting to get married. And I and I think it. I'm like, you think you sweet by saying it's not about offset to give people like this whole mystery behind it. But then my like, niggas it's only two that. niggas that can be like, offset bro. or the other nigga Tommy that she was cheating on him the whole time any fucking way while the nigga was in jail. But now the nigga home, but you ain't with the nigga, but. I'm just like, she got the album coming out. That's how on. stupid to say that it's not about your nigga because it it's not about your nigga and who is it about. Like, me, I would be mad as fuck. Like, I, I always be thinking about that because I'm like, damn, if I get a chick, like, what if I got a girl and I'm making my uh, little song shit and I'm like, I fell in love with you overseas, overseas, girl. And my, my, my bitch like, nigga, I'm from Texas. So what bitch you fall in love with overseas? Oh, no, baby, that's just a song. That's just... I just I'm like, no, nigga, it's very, very descriptive. Jackson, Talk way. about motherfucker waking up and seeing the beach and all that shit, nigga. I know your music, nigga. You write from the heart. <laughs> so, who the fuck is the bitch that you fell in love with overseas, nigga? That's that's what's gonna be fucked up. I'm gonna write music about. If I really fuck with a bitch, I'm gonna write a song about her, and I'm gonna have to drop it because it's gonna be fire. So I'm like, how the fuck you gonna write a song about a nigga, but then say, oh, it's not about that nigga? Why you with a nigga? You can't. You can't do that, because if it's not about your nigga, then who is it about? When was you writing it? Is this a very old song? Nah, right. we know this right, is so this recent. Is recent. Yeah. So you're writing it. That's exactly how I felt about unless it. Unless you just, just like, admitting, like, unless you're just straight off the top and being like, oh, yeah, no, I'm literally just rapping a song somebody else wrote. Even though it may seem like it's very, 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 like, oddly specific, it's not. I don't know. I think it's right. I ain't heard it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not, fu I'm not fucking with this song. I feel like she was fucking taking shots at Ta uh, All Set. And like All Set said, bro, Rich the Kid, you don't, you don't want no smoke. You, you don't want to be for Rich the Kid. You don't want to be for All Set. Like, your verse, All Set, for real, for real. All the song, all your latest songs, you've been sounding like All Set. And you've been, we've been fucking with it. We're fucking with it. So, if I was you, I'd just shut the fuck up. Like, I've been having my under. She reading. just got signed to QC, so she's. She, she just got. She, got she, no, she, ain't, she ain't signed. She just got that management deal with them. Well, she fucking with them niggas. Hard, yeah. And she's fucking with them off of the strength of the nigga that she's fucking. Which, you know what I'm saying? That's how and females do a lot of times. But I'm kind of thinking it's stupid, though, because I'm like. I feel I feel why, because QC is the hottest shit, but I'm like. You the hottest shit, you know? Like, you, you the hottest shit right now. And not to mention, for real, for real, you got the situation with Offset with this other girl. Offset saying the baby ain't here. The girl, like, we taking a DNA test. Don't be scared. 
Da, 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 da. Y'all ain't wanna come to all the uh y'all ain't wanna come to the hospital, but you wanna come to other motherfucking other shits. I got receipts and all so all that being he been in and out with the other chick like nah I'm gonna be around. No, nah, I ain't gonna be around, that ain't my baby. Nah, that's my baby I'm gonna be around. Which I understand cause she's a thaw. So I understand where you're coming from. But me with her with Cardi, I'm like what you doing? They just the definition of a hood ratchet ass relationship. Like it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just magnified and glorified at a high level. But they got that. It's the same shit. Really like if you if you take the celebrity away from their story, if you completely just take the celebrity away from their story, and you just say it out loud. She used to be a stripper, but she don't strip no more. And that nigga used to sell drugs, but he really don't really sell drugs no more and stuff like that. He rap. Well, you can lead a rap. Just take the celebrity away though. Say they making doing a better life and shit. It's like it's just two ratchet ass people that's kind of trying to stop doing ass ratchet shit, but they still do ratchet shit. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, and Fact. he cheated on her, but like you already broke down. Like he might have cheated on her, but very early in the relationship was a and big Nobody problem. realized the real undermining too. That nigga's what, 25? 26. 26. He's still young as fuck, bro. This nigga is like, bro, he ain't been with her that long. Right. That's right. the he whole thing. He ain't been with her that, that long. That, that long. Yeah. But. You know, but so that like nigga feelings can that. definitely switch. He ain't got no years with her, like no four five years. And she probably crazy, bro. And she probably low key annoying, bro. Like she, she is sexy, bro. And he's still she... learning new shit about her. Like right. he like, oh, he, he's learning new like, shit about himself up. still. Right. Like, so especially it, and he learning shit about new bitches too. He like he be getting his mind blown right, by yeah. some new bitches, like bro. Like, right. he got like. Y'all, y'all reaching another atmosphere. Y'all ain't even on the same plane. Sometimes you think you want to be with a chick, but really you just want to hit it. Nah, I feel like he really wants to be with her. That nigga, all, shout out to Offset. That nigga, Rick Fred, Rip like number 11 on the billboard. That's your boy. And he really got Rick Flair in numbers. it, bro. You, right. How you got Rick Flair Hey, that video song, legendary. Bro. Yeah, it is. That, that Rick Flair cameo was Woo! nice. Right. Hell yeah, that was, that was dope. We okay, we're going we gonna to go ahead and uh, jump in the sports world real quick because we got the NCAA. March Madness has come to an end. Surprisingly, Michigan has made it to the national championship. I seen the funniest fucking meme ever off that Michigan win. Somebody had the old lady that be rolling out from the Lyota thing and was like, this is your... What, had the Wakanda thing and had her in the air and was like, this is your... uh, What they call it? This is your Cinderella? <laughs> it was like this Wakanda meme, bro. I was in tears. They've been so disrespectful with the meme. I hope Villanova beat their ass. So wait, hold up, they lost? No, nah, Michigan, Michigan won. won. They about to put they in the championship versus Villanova. I hope Villanova win. Yeah, I hope Villanova win. Sorry y'all out there from Michigan. When, when, Duke, when Duke got put out, I was like... I was sick as I fuck, was like, bro. I Villanova win. Like, that's just what it is. That shit made me hey, mad as fuck. What was some more surprisingly is today, since the clock was well, already on now, the females national championship. They said that game... Went the fuck in, bro. I mean, that's the double overtime and everything. The, well, the game right before when UConn lost and niggas realized like the fucking the squad that never loses lost. Like Notre Dame beat them niggas, upset the team that literally does won the championship every year. Like every well, finally, fucking year. Like, yeah, it's, uh, it's been them or Stanford. Man, that's it. Stanford, Mississippi State. They show up. Mississippi State. Shout out to them. I was about to call them bitches, but we not. Shout out to the girls out there in Mississippi State. They in the national championship again. They've been up there too. Mm-hmm. But I just want to talk about it. it was, this tournament has been kind of freaky. Like, it was the first time in history I've ever seen ESPN had a bracket. Normally they got the billion dollar bracket. If your bracket is successfully right, you get a billion dollars. What? Yeah. And it, and it was it was so crazy. There is no way that, that uh, it got it's given to one person. There's not one person in the world who calls it right. That's why they get. That's why the thing is so because nobody gets it. Like niggas get niggas get it, but if you got the exact bracket, the, the exact format, and how it played. Oh uh, wait, so hold on. So they don't start. Do you have to pick where everybody was going to start to ahead of time, or they give it to you? They, at a, they, they give like, it. All right, this is everybody, but who you think is going to win and how it's going to match up? Yeah, they give you all the teams on the bracket. Where right, they place it. No, I know. It, 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 out of the whole world, bro, there's no way that only one person gets that right. There's no way. No, no. More people. 
If you want, say you mean you had both of our brackets differently. Everybody got it wrong this year. They had to do a rechance this year because after the first day, it was everybody the first day, got, yeah. Right, after the first up. day, so the number the number sixteen seed be the number one seed. That was the first time that had happened in NCAA. Like, bro, when that happened, it was a done deal at that point. Right Everybody's that bracket was fucked. There's no way that so, nobody in the entire fucking nation. Didn't pick it right. See what it happened is that's how it be though. Nobody the a number sixteen seed <laughs> means this school is like a little public right. school type. Right. So the only people that's gonna pick that school is people who in that town. Okay. And then from and that then people in that town, in that town gotta get the rest of that bracket right, right. on top right. of that right. and all the other picks right. Your percentages go way the fuck down, down right. like as soon as that to What's that? The other you can still get the you can still get the same two teams that you wanted in the national championship and some other niggas lose. But if you get it to send the way it actually played out, you even down to it being a billion dollars, that sounds ridiculous. They're giving somebody a billion dollars because no, because you don't nobody gets it. Nobody, I, it's only been one, I think, one person in history, and that was back in like 2000, like two, and they didn't get a billion, they just raised it to a billion because they nobody got it in so long. A billion's a lot of money, especially in a program where they're not even paying the fucking people that's playing. Yeah, but all that money's coming in from sponsorships and all, and, and taxes nothing. and all that. They, 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 they got that money. It's the NCAA. Like NCAA, college students don't get the money though. The players, because the school get it, and that's the thing. The brackets, the players, the, the players don't get that money. That's going to a fan. Like that's something you do. That's, that's like I'm saying, that's like right? gambling though. You right. can't gamble. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying. I know what you're saying. I'm saying I think it's fucked up that they're giving a billion dollars. To a fan, instead of paying the people who are actually playing the sport any money at all, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, but if you if you a college athlete and your mom fucking riding the bus to get to work, but you play on ESPN, okay, and your school gets all the fucking money, and, and it's a competition for somebody to win a billion I'm, I'm about, dollars. I'm, and I'm about to I'm about to be brutally brutally honest with you. This and this is how it really go. Say, say, I'm I'm trying to get there. I'm I'm a I'm a top recruit, right? I'm a top. I'm a high. I'm like I'm a top top recruit. They gonna get my mom. They 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 gonna set us up. They gonna move my mom from out here. They gonna set her up. But they gonna do it in a bylaws where I can still play because that's that's against the rules. That's why LeBron didn't go to college because LeBron and them was taking money in high school. You can't even do that in high school. Like in college, you you. Mom, yo, you can't go in college, have a good game, go back to your dorm, and your mom like, hey, yeah, we about to get up out of here, but here's a hundred dollars, good game, and get to, get you some food or whatever. Da, da, da. That's the case of NCAA rules. That's, that's why what they, I'm saying that's game. Yeah, that's what. That's what. That's, that's why. why. I don't think that they should have to go. I mean, they pay for your college or... though. Like that, that. That just come with the territory. The, it is whack. I'm a hundred percent. I agree, but that's just the territory. And this is the exact reason why niggas like with Bob Ball and them is coming up with leagues for people to get paid. It is weak, and this is why niggas is coming at the NCAA like that. Like that's trash. They're making enough money that, to give away. A definitely making enough like money. That's you have a whole tournament that's getting sponsored by everybody that's over weeks in March. That you're making millions. Now, on top of all these tournaments you have at the beginning of the season that's sponsored by all these major sponsors. Man, is like, huge. you're like, making a hell of money. All these games is on. I definitely agree. People do March paid. Madness about stuff that doesn't even have to do with fucking college basketball. You and it's only 12 center. niggas, 12 you niggas, niggas on the center. Center. It ain't even like football where it's a whole football team, 54 niggas. It's 12, 13. Nigga, they can get paid. Just get these niggas. I feel it, but some also, type of money. Like, some type of money. Also, no, like, I, I, like I, I feel, I, I just like just playing devil's advocate because I agree with y'all, but I, I also look on the other side of it because I also see like, new schools probably get free, but I'm not about to get no motherfucking college player, no thousands of dollars, bro. Just I'm about to be paying you. I already giving you a free scholarship to my school. I'm about to be paying you. Thousands of dollars just for you to go to my school for you, you a, to probably make it to the tournament. Give me an example and maybe get me to the championship. No, it's Look at it like the Big Ten school, win, bro. Like once they get the Big Ten in. schools, you got Penn State, Ohio State, Michigan. These these schools make billions of dollars a year. You don't want to pay college players, but then you'll go out and pay the coaches motherfucking $30, 40000000 dollars. You'll get the coaches the bread, 
but then the motherfucking players can't get paid. Because these big schools, like in the Big Ten, we know what they doing. They definitely paying the coaches, getting paid real good. And they've always they get been NFL like, coaches coming back that'll just say, fuck it, I'd rather be in college, nigga. I'm about to get this check. Yeah. That's how ignorant it is. So the players can't get paid because, nigga, everybody else knows the bubble. Like, yeah, everybody they'll else. Just, they'll just masquerade it and say, like, well, we can't be paying them that much money because they're students, or we don't want to make that a motivational tactic for people to try and come here. Like, at the end of the day, bro, like, it's all in the motivational tactic to try and get to a higher level, bro. And I think that anything where they're making that much money, bro, that's like, bro, that's like if we do this podcast and we just start, I'll just start getting a whole bunch of money for the podcast and they'll give you all better the buddy for it. Like, what? Like, you can't. Anybody who's a part of the machine deserve, deserves to be able to reap the benefits. It's a, and I understand that, yeah, like you saying, they're getting a free scholarship, and I understand you're paying devil's advocate. But that's why rules, like, rules are meant to, I don't know, be not be broken, but to, at least to be looked at. Like, just because a rule has been set doesn't mean that that should be the rule the way that it is forever. Like, if at a certain point, like maybe if back in the day, colleges wasn't making enough money to pay their athletes. But if you look at it right now to where, like, you know what I'm saying, I, they ain't got video games no more, but the niggas had video games at one point, bro. They was on video games. Like, you got a nigga who was in college who's in a video game on the cover of a cover of magazines, the stadium, like, right. Ohio State niggas, like, the that's stadium. That's why they stopped that shit. I know that's why they stopped it. Bro. Right. It's, that, it, it's, it's fucked up, because I do, I do like, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate. I do feel like the players should get paid, but I also feel like, not, I, I, I also oh, I want to say, I don't want... Every player in college should not get paid. Well, I not bought this in. If you don't want to pay niggas, then take the rule and let niggas just go to the league. There's white niggas that want to go from high school just go to the NBA and be able to skip out on college. Not not only do you have, they make you go to college. They got a rule like that. It's called go overseas one year. That's risky as fuck. And it because is if you Because the, the reality about that is... If you some fuck up in that when you go overseas, you can't come back and go to college. You can't. You you stuck, nigga. Like you can't come back and play college yeah. sports over here. You like, like that's a big risk. Like and it's funny because remember, like Brendan Jennings did that shit. And for real, I look at him as a bust. He came in his first game in the league, dropped fifty five, and he was doing his thing in Milwaukee. Got with Tiana Taylor, got t- got her took by another NBA player, mm-hmm. and it's been shitty ever since. Broke his heart. Like, I'm like, I'm like, the whole, like, some people, I feel like, you gotta be like, you gotta meet a certain criteria. I feel like, like, okay, I'm a, if I'm gonna pay you all this money as an athlete, like, you gotta, y'all gotta, like, to be honest, if they're gonna pay them, y'all gotta start getting, you gotta make, you gotta make contracts for these players. Okay, you a top, you a highly recruiter, you a one and done. I know you playing for one year, so I'm going to give you this amount of money. You still got to pay for your college school. You got to pay for your classes. If I'm about to pay you. No, because then niggas wouldn't pay for school. Like, if that should be, that should be something separate because the college as an entity already makes its own amount of money just off of tuition and shit like that. So, a scholarship to get you, the reason they give you a scholarship as an athlete is because they know they're going to make money off of you. That's why they're paying for you to go to school there. They like, nigga, look, we know you're not smart, but you can hoop. And niggas love hooping. So, we get you to come here. People gonna want to wear your jersey, watch you on TV and shit. That's why they pay for you to go to school for the free because they know that they're gonna get that money back. Yeah, but I'm also also not about to pay you. I'm not about to give you no ridiculous amount of money for one fucking year. I'm not about to, you're not about to be 18, get a ridiculous amount of money from you for one fucking year. I don't think they should get millions dollars a year. They get like 30, 40,000. They need living expenses to live in school and stuff. Just to to survive. Not get these niggas no real deal contract, break them off. Like, we talking about like, right now. Is how, a lot for a college kid. Bro, bro. but even now. And you want a free scholarship, bro. Bro, no, 30,000 is that much. Shit. I, I, I made mean, close to that, bro. Yeah, that's like a regular bro, job. That's a regular shit. job. That's a regular job. You make that a year, year but, shit. bro, they're, they're not staying in college a full year. These niggas eat noodles and shit, bro. You shouldn't be no who star on no team eating noodles, bro. No. 
You mean to tell me hey, hey, I'm about to say Mike, no, nigga, it's Mike, niggas out Mike. here. Now you do got these niggas that's out so here number one about, recruit. You start number one, like I said, number one. But then one you got recruit. these other niggas that ain't. I ain't talking. Face. I ain't talking about the mother. I'm talking about the number one. Well, let's talk about the other niggas. The other niggas gotta be fair right, bro. Everybody. Bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But at the same and time, the NBA, if I pay, NBA, if, NBA, if I come in, okay, I pay. Y'all both, high, y'all both high recruits. Kev, I hire him. He a five star. You a four star. He I want much. No, Sorry, you want your bread. I give your bread, but now, okay, I'm about to give your bread. I ain't offering you the same amount as him, but I give you, I'm giving you the same. You give him, you got a scholarship, but I'm giving you some bread. Now you complain because you want the same amount of money as him. Yeah. No, you're not as sweet as this nigga. Yeah. Now you trying to go to a different school. It's fucking it up. Because, first of all, you're not. Co- coaches is coaches. Oh, just because you're a top recruit don't mean you're really a good player. That's this other nigga saying, like, hey, he good. He gonna be the truth. That's what that's what the fuck a bus is. All of is. the things that you're saying are applicable in a normal college scenario. Just like LeVar Ball and them have switched. Not even them. Yeah, we, perfect to, example. we don't even have to talk about them. And you just got to say your point. We, we're not even talking about them. Don't make, for one, we don't have to both be top tier athletes. If Kevin is a higher tier athlete than me, then of course I am not going to get paid as much as him. That same scenario and circumstance applies to the normal NFL and the NBA. That's why people have different salaries and shit like that. Who the fuck is going to... But th- that's what I'm saying. That's going to cost you recruits. That's what. That's what you. That's what I'm sorry. Bray, uh, breezy. <laughs> this shit, bro. I'm like, this nigga corny for that. Bow wow's on the line. He heard it right now. You know who's really sweet for real? I've been fucking with, bro. Jaden Smith. No. Willow Smith. She is sweet, but they no. both sweet, bro. Don't play Jaden. Like, bro, I, I'm. What are you talking about? I got this album. I got title, nigga. Shout out title. I'm right. this, so you don't say no. I'm just saying, little baby go nuts, bro. They do. Bro, baby, little baby. I don't know that. The, bro, that mixtape was hard as fuck. I fuck with all, all of a sudden with money bag. Money bag got that funny voice. He got that dog voice, but. Mm. Hey man. Money back, money back be snapping. I can't even like, I was trying to bust my, like, but I'm just loyal to Dolph, so I, I was just, you feel me? To the well, yeah, bro, you feel me? So I'm like, bro, that's why I be hate. Don't you hate when you, like, you be trying to be a loyal fan of somebody, but somebody else, something doesn't be so sweet, like, bro. You sweet, bro, but. Like, so, that's how I feel about money bag, yeah. Like, I, he really sweet for real. It's just, like, I fuck with Dolph. Like, well, if anybody come back, let's. Is anybody in there? When, when they come back, let's welcome them when they come back, cause they that's some loyalty, man. Welcome back, right? We yeah. came back. Please come back. So to, uh, to get back, back up in this, this. <laughs> let's get into this bow wow real quick. Since what I was playing and we were talking about it, I don't know what's going on with him. Like to be honest, I really feel like he having like a meltdown. Like niggas really be hating on him, like the trippy shit. Niggas was all oh, trippy red, hold that nigga. I'm like trippy red. Then hold this nigga. This nigga trippy red just out of nowhere just was like, you know what? Fuck it. This nigga Bow Wow can get these hands. He don't run shit, bro. Stop asking me about Bow Wow. Trippy smart though. He 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 stayed here and he know how niggas feel. So he just he literally said what all I done heard all y'all say. This nigga Bow Wow don't rep Columbus. He don't rep Ohio. He didn't like Ohio. He rep other city. Them people been saying this whole life. People always so used to say he, he was just, from Reynoldsburg. So he just Reynoldsburg jumped, wasn't part of Columbus. So he, like, so he just jumped on that bandwagon, which is an easy bandwagon because that's what everybody in Ohio feel in the first place. So he's just running right off of that shit. Like, yeah, and if you ask anybody from Ohio, that's what they're going to say. I don't personally yeah. dislike Bow Wow, but I mean, he don't rep Ohio. He really don't. And, 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 Really and, and, to, and, and that's what he Bobo used said. to. He and and Bobo said it. He was like, "Bro, Ohio, we got a funny relationship. We got a funny." And like, and it, it's true. He was like, "One minute y'all fucking with me, and then the next minute y'all ain't fucking with me. One minute y'all want to say I'm from here, and then when I start acknowledging I'm from here, then y'all say I'm not from here. So then when I don't claim it, then y'all want to be like, nah, he from here.' He should have never said. So he, he was, was from Atlanta." I mean, but like, you, can you really blame him? Like, he been in yes, the industry. He been in the industry. You can't. Years. Geogra- you can't change where you were from geographically. Yeah. Bro, if you signed a death row up in California when you at a young age, and then you come back here, you blow up. But you blow up under Jermaine Dupree. Where he at? Atlanta. You living with Jermaine Dupree in Atlanta. At like you're growing up. He grew up. That's one way to look at it. But at the same time, it's one of them things where you like, bro. 
Regardless of how you blow up, you can rep your city. And pick one. Like, you can just you pick can't your rep city. Both. Like, you didn't have to go and go claim a whole nother city. You can say you rock with them niggas. Like, you, you do music there, but nigga, you rap. And just let's, like, be, oh, like, let's be all the way real. When he was Lil Bow Wow, it was Prince of the Old Town. So he was but rapping the right. high. Then he went to fucking get all that shit that you said. Right. And that's and the problem. started wearing that Atlanta <laughs> Falcons jerseys and saying, I'm from Atlanta. And he was like, Fuck Columbus, fuck Ohio. I'm and that's like, bro, you right? literally like, 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 like that. So yeah, of course we're not gonna. Yeah, like, and I understand that. And then on top of all of that, he's shitty. Like, you gotta be sweet. <laughs> you gotta be sweet to be able to do that. Oh, yeah, you can just as all you want if you're super sweet. Dude, yeah, Tupac like, can do it. Okay, like, yeah, Tupac yeah, 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 all yeah, yeah, over yeah, the place. Yeah, I just say, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say I can't say he's shitty. Oh, my God. He, he ain't much. shitty, but he ain't good enough. But, but yeah, he ain't mid-tier, bro. He not even mid-tier, bro. He like the mids before he started doing sweet stuff. Um, he like an average-ass average thing, bro. Lil Bow Wow, let's put it like this. Lil Bow Wow's height was the beginning of his career, and that was when he was like fucking bro, 12. But, right, bro. That, that, that's then, bro. Every like as time go, he couldn't be like Chris Brown, bro. He was he was a dancing ass pop song. No, Everybody changed no, with time. That's a different reference. Chris Brown's still that nigga. He never. He, he I, I mean, I like I understand. Like, that. I'm just saying, Bow Wow, like he said, 20 years in the game, bro. He can't be had his time. I ain't saying he about he to might be have 20 nigga. years in the game, but he ain't as he grown ain't years. It's grown years, right? He been around. Don't know about it. it. How long was he doing that 106 Park shit before it went to the fucking internet? It wasn't even on TV anymore when he was doing it. It was on. It was on TV. When he was doing it, it just went to the internet because I really, think okay, let's it, let's, it stop, dying, let's stop hanging about because he did have one. That was somebody all day about it. So he did. Ain't that, I, yeah, that's ain't how you try about my system. Yeah. Bro, all that I shit is know. like 06. Yeah, but that bro, is bro. post. That's post Lil Bow Wow. You just don't that's know. what I'm saying, bro. He, he, he had the Mario run when he was like 21. Bro, he had the green, not, not even that, bro. He had the green light mixtapes, bro. Uh, so, uh, we're not counting no. those because that's fall off phase. That's fall off phase. <laughs> green light, no. Green light, four. Five, that's fall, that's fall off. Green light one, two, and three, bro, those was fire. That's when he just was getting, like, that's when he just, the green light was the first cash money. Yeah, that was when he first got with cash money, it was popping. He's supposed to be part of Rich Game, but that whole Rich Game plan fell apart because he, Birdman had to recreate it because it's supposed to be Future, Drake, Wayne, Nicky, Bow Wow, or some other nigga. But it didn't work. I don't even say like, right with Bow Wow and that man. It didn't, bro. That's why Birdman. That's why Bird. That's what Future was like. Hell no, bro. Chris Brown. I mean, that nigga Bow Wow hasn't been. He ain't even been at mid-tier. least for the past five to ten right. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at least I, for the past five to I, ten I, years, Bow Wow ain't been really doing too much of shit. This is the most he's been talking about, and it's because it's a diss for Chris Brown. I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I fuck with Bow Wow. I won't say it's been a most he's been talked about. All I'm saying is it's not because. Well, all the, the the memes, you feel me? And then right, like he was flexing and, and, and then he in a negative light, more negative light, more yeah, the negative light. And Airbnb then like I said, the, 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 the nigga, the nigga sneaking. He been on that, nah. he been, that <laughs> fake ass shit where he was running from that fake ass crowd. But that, 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 that but no, that that got cleared out. That that was that wasn't fake. That's fake. Jermaine Dupri already he already aired that out. They he left. He seen out seen by one fan. That fan started chasing them. They hit a corner. Jermaine Dupri talked about that on the Breakfast Club when he when he cleared up the whole Usher shit. Mm-hmm. Like Jermaine Dupri, he got on Breakfast Club and they was they was hating because he was spitting facts. He was like, "Y'all hating on this nigga, but he been put up through Drake numbers. He been did that, bro. He been done that." All the all this shit y'all talking about, he been done that. When he was, but you got to remember, like, what have you done so lately? Like, like, that, 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 that's why that. that that's what we. It been. ain't even about like that, bro. Like that, he was the only four year old we had. Right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, he was the four year old. We're like, oh, it's Lil Bow Wow. I'm not gonna say that, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't care, bro. Lil Bow Wow all had his one braids, bro. Bow Wow had his all Harlem shaking. He had all y'all one braids. Bro, Bow Wow had his Harlem shit. I wasn't cute enough to be Lil Bow Wow, so I didn't want to even... I was, I was on the other side. side. I, was I understand y'all niggas. Nigga, I was yeah. on that Wayne train. We was going to be on the same. I was old. Like, was like, like, who is this little nigga? I, I can't I, say this little I, nigga. I can't... At one point in time, niggas fuck with Bow Wow. I'm just saying, he sounded like he want to kill himself right now because... The whole thing, the whole trippy raid was like, bro, I'm not about to go to war with no little kid, bro. Like, I don't know what he's talking about. You go to war, he was going to lose. 
you gotta stop letting the internet make you feel like you gotta do stuff. You right, man. You gotta do that, stuff. That, 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 like, that, he's so mad and he feel like he gotta do it. He be like, I gotta tell everybody that I don't, my bad. He don't want to do it. I'm like, bro. To be honest, relax. It's, I, it's, it's, it's hurtful. To, it's, I don't want to say this, but it's kind of like you do. Because it's like, bro, the only music. way we going to listen to your music and the world going to listen, you going to have to hold the fuck out of this nigga Trippie Red. You got to give us something. Or you got to say Give us something to make us believe. Me. Like, you know what, Bob? Well, look, how about this? Trippie Red can come see me with these motherfucking hands. And right. That'd be it. And we'll be like, oh, okay. We accept right. that. Like, come on. All right, next topic. Right. We got Cam Run. Joel Santana, man, Cameron dropped an exclusive interview on YouTube. I had the thing, but I can't, my phone acting funny right now. The thing but, else? No, Cameron, the rapper. You know, because Joel Santana got caught with all them oxycodones, mm -hmm. the gun in the airport, all that. And he got caught with a whole bunch of sh other shit. Oh, fuck. So Cameron was, was like, oh, right, y'all want the truth? Y'all want to know why I stopped fucking with him? He turned into a junkie. Stop fucking with him. He definitely was a crackhead. Hold on. This nigga Cam. He did. I didn't listen to the thing, but I seen all the headlines of him saying that. I'm like, oh, shit. Cam be going crazy, man. And that's... <coughs> I feel like that's for the man, because... <coughs> that's even, what, even if somebody do wrong, you ain't no reason to go do them all dirty and talk all down on them. And I feel like it's all your niggas, bro. Them your niggas, bro. Like, this is the second one of his niggas that he got a lot of money with, and he just talking down on them. But he, he, he was just speaking. He was like, bro, this nigga, he got hooked to rubber tussing. Like, I told this nigga stop drinking that shit. But you want to know what happened? He got with Wayne and the Young Money Movement, and Wayne get put on Wayne hit the one that I serve shit. Like, man, he was really on that shit. Like, we drink liquor. That's why my livers is fucked up. Hey, right. we so told this, you know, we, we told this nigga, like, he didn't want to listen to us. And he was like, you know, Joel's is like a little brother to me. And he was talking that <coughs> shit. But Joel's got a serious drug problem. Damn. Well, he going to maybe jail and clean him out for a little minute because you can't fuck with that fed time yeah. shit. You cannot go to no airport. And you going to jail. Guns, you and you and you jail. Robert and gun, you're going to jail. And you on probation. You're going to jail for a grip. You're going to jail. Right. So I'm like, damn, free that nigga Jewels, but you fucked up. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, but supposedly he's supposed to be home real soon. That's nah, what his wife said. But that's only why he's doing a court thing. Yeah. I want to talk about Jada Kiss and Master P. So... Y'all know, rest in peace, Craig Mack. If y'all don't know, for the young folks, that's Mr. Flavor in your ear. This is going to Flavor. He bought. He was with motherfucking Biggie and shit. They he was, was the first, was. the first artist of motherfucking Bad Boy. The first. And the thing was, for real, for real, he kind of co-founded Bad Boy. They like they got the whole shit, Master P and Jenny kissing on Ben Aaron Diddy out because they did some foul shit. Diddy like Craig Mack. And Biggie weren't fucking with each other. Mm. And, you know, Biggie kind of blew Big up. Candy. Yeah. And mm. he seen Diddy was really like, and Craig Mac was like, nigga, I'm the, I hope you built this shit. I was the first. We did the compilation. That's why we had the Big Mac box and all. Mm. Bro, that was, nah, bro, you fucked me. They he basically fucked him over. That's why he just like, no, I'm fuck you. And he just left. They should be able to get royalties for the Big Mac as well. Like, that's crazy, like. Like, bro. That's where the Big Mac motherfucking came from, nigga. And them niggas don't steal. That ain't even in the stipulation or nothing. Like, no, nah, like, I think the Big Mac was already out. I think they just oh. used that because Biggie and Craig Mac, so oh. Big Mac. But... Oh, okay. So. Never mind. Yeah, I'm like, I yeah. hope that's your and, and, right. and, the, and those was, and then like, if you watch the Notorious movie, mm. when he come in with the Big Mac box, like, yeah, bro, look, here go your million dollar check. I told you, mm. Big. He gave Big his million dollar check in the Big Mac box. Mm. Just, and Craig Mac must have got his big check because they, they was like basically the first two artists or whatever. Mm. But J.D. Kiss was like, bro, how you up here talking about rest in peace Craig Mac and all of this? You ain't helped this nigga for over all these years, nigga. You sold this and that, nigga. And then Diddy got salty. And he was like, yeah, nigga. It and then he was like, nigga, you ain't even go to the funeral. And the funeral was down the street from your crib, nigga. You ain't go, and this is what this is the first artist did it. Like, bro, you, now you want to get on the gram and live and talk all this shit. Master P went to agree. Was like, bro, you ain't even been here, nigga. This is where Craig Mac be right here. This is where he moved. You ain't even been here, nigga. We been here, like Master P and Daddy Kiss, like Aaron out Diddy. It was kind of, it was kind of, it was kind of 
Shax, I'm like, damn, did he really looking like a fuck nigga, bro? Because I'm like, but did they fuck with each other? What was they falling out over? And how long have they been Craig Mack, not fucking with each other? And, that, and that's when it came up. Craig Mack really kind of had stakes in the bad boy. Like, he owned part of... Then he basically finessed him off the company and then, like, pushed him to the side and just gave all the attention to Biggie and just got rid of it. Like, basically, was like, nigga, we're not funding nothing for you, bro. You're done, bro. You got your two songs, nigga. You're good. You got your album. You went platinum, nigga. Congratulations. You're done. Mm. Like, so... And Diddy did he continue to do that to him. Like, and, and if you do, if you see, and even Mace exposed it. He was like, that's why niggas hate me now, bro. He was like, I didn't even got to rap. I'm getting checks from Diddy still. He was like... Who, who get more money than me on Bad Boy? And then they was like, Fresh Montana, he laughed. He was like, what? Then he was like, nigga, let me show you what Diddy gave me today. And we put out a $5 million check. He was like, nigga, Fresh ain't getting this money, man. I just told Diddy I'm about to start rapping again. He just gave me this. <laughs> like, bro. It's... But, like. Why does he love Mace so much? Maybe they Cameron can't. said they did some fruity shit. Maybe he got to be some ties or some shit. I don't know. They they, they make yeah, that's not bad for the game. Maybe they game's delicious. Right. Maybe that's still nigga. <laughs> okay. Next topic. I know you're not gonna know you, you guys probably not gonna know much about it, but this one is for the ladies. Y'all whatever. Wow. So Hazel E's boyfriend, y'all, got exposed. Apparently this nigga's name is he he, he went from his name is Rose, but I guess his name is Denzel. And he gay as fuck. Ooh. And his boyfriend came out and dropped off. Told him like, no, da, da, da. But the nigga said he was only 19. Nigga was like, nigga, I'm 25, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? Had the idea. Wait, hold on. Tell me who. Wait, hold on. Who's, 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 who said they was 19 but really 25? It was it was this gay dude trying to exp expose Hazel E's boyfriend. Hazel E's the uh, lady on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Like, she be... She like the Carly Red of that series. Like she's really in everybody's drama. She be fucking with Tierra Marie. Be cracking me up. Like she be everybody fucks with Tierra. Bro, like it's just funny because it's like that's her arch nemesis. Like they was best friends, but now they arch nemesis. And like she knows all Tierra's dirty secrets and laundry. So she be airing her out. It be hilarious because she be talking her secrets and her laundry. Right, right, and like you feel me, Hazel like. She be in California, like she tried rapping, she she did the little blog side. Her biggest thing of me on her is fucking with Young Berg and then Young Berg playing her. So he was. Everybody Young Berg getting robbed? Did anybody know? You know anything about that? Did they show that on Hollywood? I haven't. I have not seen that or heard about it, but he probably did get robbed. That's why he ain't Young Berg no more. He hit maker. He a producer now. Well, he got robbed recently, like recently, recently. Joe Budden said it and he called him and asked him, was he good? And he didn't give him none of the scoop. So I thought maybe y'all had something. Nah, I ain't hear about that, but thank you for telling me. Trust and believe. The next episode, <laughs> your boy Mikey D will have some scoop on that. And I'm going to be all up in that trying to find out what happened. Because I really don't fuck with young bro. I just fuck with some of his songs. That I know like two to three people. Two to three people have told me that if they saw young bro, they were either robbing or slapping. And I'm like, why do people not like him? Bro, you? he's our size, bro. So why you You're bigger like than Young Bird, bro. And he be talking that cash shit, bro. That's why he got his that's well, why he, he is a light skinned ass rich Bro, man. and then he be talking and he ain't from Chicago. Mm. He from Chirac. So he be talking that shit, but I'm like, nigga, this ain't Chirac, nigga. That's what happened in Detroit, nigga. He thought it was Chirac. It was like, nigga, let me see that transformer chain. Yeah, I like this. I like that, nigga. Can I get my chain? No, nigga, you can't get your chain. Bro. Why would you let a nigga try your chain on? You're no, not. that thing. I was just being nice. He got that uh, shit took. Uh, like, but hey, do this, bro. I can't do this no more. Yeah, thank you. I'm like, bro. You, I wouldn't be fucking that way. I, I but no, so you was yeah. So you were saying that she basically her boyfriend gay and he not even 19 nah he not even 19 and cause they were calling so her he, so she thought he was she no. and she thought he was 19 he, she saying he straight or whatever but the nigga the, the gay nigga like no he not dropped the pictures and I like I don't wanna see the pictures yeah like it ain't nothing gay it's just, it is gay it's him dressed in girl clothes <laughs> I'm like but you a gay Wait a minute. Yeah, right, bro. So I'm like, oh, this is it, it, definitely it, gay. Them thug niggas bro, be gay. Gay as fuck, bro. <laughs> gay as fuck. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck is going on here, bro? 
He like, bro, I ain't gay. And they was like, yeah, he just jumped click the click. He used to be with this squad. Then he was with Brick Squad. Then he went to LA. Then I'm like, well, y'all niggas is gay. But yeah. Well, that's and he funny. used to fuck with, uh, he from Baltimore. And the nigga that he was fucking with, 819, he thought he was 19, but he really 25. Yeah, he really 25. But what's pick, what kicked this off, because Hazel is beefing with Jess Hilarious. Oh, that's that girl. And she, Hazel She e, mad at her for watching the show and talking shit all the time. Like, bitch, you just want to see this. And so no, fucking funny. Hazel E oh, was man. like, bro, I should have called Children's Services for taking that naked picture. Fuck you and your ratchet ass son called, his son, called her son a little monkey. Who? That's what Hazel E. Hazel E was snapping on Twitter, bro, like going nuts. And, but I'm like, hey, you talk, you can talk all that shit, but she live in Baltimore. I seen a while. That shit is real. That was Shout a- out to Jesse Hilarious, man. She just got signed to a Fox TV show with uh with the uh, with the dude that's gonna be in the Uncle Drew movie. That the dude, the little fat dude with the glasses. Her and this dude just got signed to a show on Fox. She like the first. Yeah, she one of the first people from the. Right there in the corner, but I was gonna let you know. What? It's a black widow right there. Man. Is it really a black is Nah, it's a I'm spider. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? It's a spider, though. What are you killing, nigga? Why are you telling me? It's like, it's just, you telling me, like, I'm stronger I'm a, than you. I'm, a, I'm a, you did? <laughs> 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 bro. Talk about in a respectable damn blood, bro. You can't have blood, bro. Yo, I ain't talking on camera. <laughs> you talking on camera. Bro, you no. don't, you don't get it. <laughs> spider. This nigga scared of a spider. Nah, bro. Don't try to put this on me. Nah, nigga. We well, heard this nigga <laughs> tell me about a spider like he a daughter or something. He's like, hey, uh, it's a spider over there. Nigga, this your house, nigga. Nigga, you can kill a spider, nigga. Nigga, do I look like a motherfucking superhero to you, nigga? You look like a nigga. Do I look like, like, I'm, a, do I look like I'm in an Avengers, nigga? Do I look like Hold on, let me see. Avengers. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not there. I really don't like this nigga. <laughs> he just said, do I look like a superhero? He was like, nah. But speaking of motherfuckers <laughs> and getting awesome in shots, there's this girl, I don't know her name, I'm so sorry, I should have looked this up multiple times, but she, uh, she wrote into Nintendo and asked them for, like, some sort of chance to, some sort of chance to be able to, like, do some sort of job for them, like, the design shit, and they was like, hell no, like, thank you pretty much, but no, fuck no, and then pretty much she, like, just pulled up on them niggas at E3 and was like, hey, y'all niggas remember me, and then it's like, uh, not really. But she showed up with some custom amiibos, and now she designs. She's like a brand ambassador, and she uh, designs custom amiibos. Uh, y'all should look her up. I don't have any information on her though. I'm terrible at that. So, um, oh yeah, didn't they say something? Where we should have some fact checkers. Yeah, but this is a fact that you need to find out about. Right, we don't know. I'm not. I'm not fact checking this because he said the name. No, I did earlier. You when you was first told us, you said a name. No, I'm talking about Awada. Awada, Awada one yeah, of the, one of the things she did. It's, oh, I thought that was Awada. Right. She did. She did a. Uh, she did a. Custom, <laughs> I thought that was a custom that. Awada piece, like you know, because he the late great, he passed away. She got him like holding a Triforce sword. He got like pit's wings on. Got like a little. It's pretty sweet. Just but she does custom it, amiibos yeah. that actually do function in, on your Wii U, but they're like. Like one in the world, like yeah. Yo. What's up? What's your thing? Have y'all seen the little, the little animation they did for the Deadpool? Hilarious! It's like it's hilarious. It was supposed to come out, but they dropped it. And then like they've been talking about the animated series. So the reason they ain't go with uh, Childish Gambino, Don, Donald Glover, and his brother's role was because their role was more of a current like Deadpool, like. He was talking about, he was Deadpool, but he was making jokes more on stuff that was happening today, using today's mm-hmm. shit. So I'm pretty sure then he said something about Trump, when they was, the network was like, we're not touching this. Like, bro, we're not doing this, bro. Because mm-hmm. they was like, some shit went down, but they just didn't. They, they said, for real, Donald Glover and them had the best script. But that... Basically, like it just. It well, went, I know if they was probably going against Trump, that shit wasn't gonna fly, cause uh, they ain't fucking with that right now. Because that's the reason why Roseanne blew up too, real big. She's pro Trump, and she pushed pro Trump on her show. 
first episode, ironic, it hit all the views that she pro Trump. So it's definitely. Wow. Yeah. What, what is it about Trump? Like, she don't want to see. I mean, she, money you know or? how they always crack. When you watch sitcoms, sitcoms have a way of putting political into their jokes, but it'll kind of give you an idea of what side they on, just reference off what kind of jokes that they give. It's just like, Sign if you it, watch The Ranch so with Ashton Kutcher and them, all the jokes on there are towards Republicans. And anytime a Democrat get brung up, the, the punchline jokes be like, you a Democrat type shit? Like, it, they'll be kind of the jokes on there. And a lot of shows got that. They'll kind of... The writers are kind of tell you which side yeah, they are yeah. through the show with I'm the joke. Right. They do that shit with the superhero shows for real. They do that with anything. Like, it, it be hilarious because when you watch it, more like like the Arrow Flash shit, it be the actual story. But you see, you also be seeing a political message in the show. You be like, bro, if y'all don't stop telling me about politics, nigga, like I'm trying to watch motherfucking superheroes. Y'all niggas trying to tell me about some other shit. I don't give a fuck about right now. Like, I, well, I mean, if you that's why all them shows be trying to put everything in the real world, and if you put it in the real world, it's gonna go to the. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck Roseanne and them be saying on here that they fucking like Trump, like they like. Roseanne they told you she, she like Trump. It's hey, Roseanne. and shout out to Roseanne. She went on Wendy Williams and sunk her life. I seen that meme. Shit had me roving. I guess Wendy was asking something about. Oh, not Roseanne. That's Rosie O'Donnell. Roseanne is. That yeah. annoying fat chubby yeah. white bitch. Uh, yeah, she went she on Wendy Williams or something and asking her about her husband or something. And then Roseanne was like, "Man, I don't want to talk about that. You wouldn't want to talk about that either." We talking about your some said something about her situation. Wendy just shut up. Hey, I was like, "Oh shit!" Real quick, <laughs> this might be fucked up, but she could think. Bad push Emily because she told that nigga in an argument. That's why you can't spell your name, bitch. <laughs> he just stuck him. Definitely she definitely cheated on that nigga. I mean, and he, I mean, it's clear. And, he, and he know it too, and it's just not. First of all, he can't spell his name. He know it's not a good enough. Are, just, he know he fucked up. He know it ain't a good enough excuse. He like, I know I just beat her ass because she cheated, but she cheated. But I just beat the fuck out. Of it don't matter. You knocked her like, teeth out. Right, I ain't you can't knock right. a woman's teeth out. Like, she talking. I mean, she bringing up old face. messages between her and her mama. Like her, my mom asked if I was still married. She, I thought he was going to change. I'm like, bitch, you better be lying. If you tell me, Fab and Bean, yo, fine. That's why your ass get bigger every year. He add inches to your ass each year. He beat it. Yeah, he probably be whooping her. <laughs> like, be whooping her. I'm like, this is crazy. Like, you're too it's beautiful. It's definitely a bad look. And I'm like, she losing this to advantage. She gonna get out of here. And she got oh, two kids. One. She about to take they me got, down with this. It's one. three kids, but she got two of them by him. The old, her oldest kid is the daughter. Like Fabs took in that her her uh, firstborn. The daddy don't even want no parts of that to be in that daughter's life. So Fab took in over that road. Then he finally had Joe Johan, but then he got another one. Now I'm like, oh my gosh, you got two, you got three kids, nigga, and that's your wife now, and you, you are her, her daddy, bro. I don't give a fuck. You could have shot that nigga, but fuck that nigga. He don't matter. You feel me? But your wife, bro, like, and you said you. Bro, you DeMarcus cousin her, bro. Right, like I mean, she, like, once you knocked her teeth out, bro, you should have just let that go for a minute. Nah, you, nah. If if you knock your girl's teeth back, you gotta go on it back. You gotta hear it with the jelly. No, I mean like you gotta just let her be right now. Like if you, she cheated. You knocked her teeth out. Then, cool, peace. It'd be fucked up with the nigga. Not hit. saying I would knock my bitch's teeth out, but I'm saying like after you to knock the teeth out, you're not allowed to be mad no more. What if what if the nigga call out like, bro, you tripping, nigga? She ain't even let me fuck, neither, bro. I'm being dead down serious, nigga. I was trying to fuck. She ain't even give me the pussy. Now you just like to take out. Now I'm about to fuck. Thank you, nigga. Hung nah, up. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I wouldn't be real. He definitely not gonna fuck because if you knock a bitch teeth out, she's not playing with that fire. Like, like she really don't care about her life. She gonna wait till you go to jail. Then she gonna fuck that nigga. That, yeah, I'm about to say like, Fab got be in jail. That's her husband. Like they're buried. Like when it kind of married people, I, I give them. Married people uh, cheat on each other, but they'll stay together. If they, if they love each other, they'll stay with each other. I've seen that happen with plenty of married people. Uh, they married, 
one of them fuck up. The other one like, bro, I'm not gonna leave you. They go do something, man. Like, bro, my, hey, y'all both cheated. Now y'all eat. What y'all doing next? Something she ain't keep gonna on. stay because it's a beat. Yeah. If it was, she, if it was cheating, he knocked her two friends. She people, already bro. cheated, which done drove him mad. So he like, he done beat her. So she about to use this as like, what? I'm getting the fuck up through out of this. I mean, it's I'm not advocating it, but I'm like, bro, she about to use this to, cause she done fucked up. Yeah. But he's super fucked up. Ain't not their teeth out, bro. But what we got next, man? Uh, that's all I got. Uh, oh, this nigga NBA young boy did avoid jail in his case. He uh he was about to, he was looking at ten years. But they gave him a probation, but he got a different type of probation. Ten years? How you go from ten years to probation? Because you're already he already on probation for one. So how, he can't get on. How you on probation? Get something that almost gets you ten years, and then you get to get him. probation. Anything, any you get arrested. That's probation violation. Mm -hmm. And then when you get when you violate probation, if he had to, see he, excess, he can't get on social media yeah. for six months, and he can't leave Louisiana. Right, and he's stuck there. He's been talking. That's all he was talking about was, bro, I'm trying to move out to L.A., bro, get out of the show. But since he got off of that and they put from that, I mean, I kind of got to believe now. He can't He can't be He can't be around his girlfriend either. That, yeah. that, that was one of his, for six, the six months, he can't be on social media. He got to stay on social media. Thing. I'm wondering what that's going to do to his mind. That shouldn't be that hard. Boy. That's not going to be hard, nigga. I'm not going to jail. I can't be on social media, but the nigga next to me can. No. Hey, no X -X. He may not appear on social media. And I ain't even nothing to see that. That's, that, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Y'all nigga, I can't I might be not be able to be on social media. Y'all niggas can. I'm sitting here with you on like oh. You can but but I can't I can't uh, post nothing. Oh yeah, you talking about I thought you meant like if somebody else was. Oh, uh, he's not oh, taking no. that chance, bro. No. Nah, right, he ain't even gonna do that because he can you try to use that technical thing, but then the judge can just be a dick and be like, nah, nigga, you was on social media. Right, nigga, you're God, being right. Dick, and the judge can always switch up right in front of you. You don't know what they're going to do. Well, and they also, definitely you know, and, and then I didn't know, because he, he young, it's going to be somebody stupid around him. He's going to be in the studio rapping. Somebody going to be in a recording. That's how it goes. He ain't get away with it right now, bro. He in Louisiana. He's stuck in Louisiana. He just got to use that to his advantage. There's plenty of niggas that's in Louisiana. That white bar, you just do music with them, you ride out these six months. Right. To call the day, nigga. You still gonna get your buzz, right? Cause the XXX freshman list the uh the the tryouts everybody videos up now. He doing he got the sec the third most numbers I seen on there. X uh that nigga that nigga six nine shit is stupid. Bro, he and gotta be on there, bro. And then this nigga a little skies. It's retarded. Like his numbers is way. He, he, like he, I didn't even. He know. got an XX call, like call phone. He like I know. I've been, I've been people. On he was up there. T Grizzly there. shit is high. He talked shit on his shit, on his thing. He was like, bro, I don't broke records. I, I shouldn't even. What y'all niggas better put me in. It was funny. I was like, yeah, I fuck with his shit. He was talking shit. Bad Barbie was on there. Her, she was up there like for real. She tried to make you feel it. I kind of was feeling what she was saying because she like, look, I got big on a whole different way than everybody else. And my style <coughs> and everything I do is completely different than everybody else. <coughs> I feel her a little bit on it. Um, but, but I don't know. Like, at the a, for real, if XXL really want to set this shit off and want to, bro, put her on there. It's a white dude named Puya. Underground dude, he's like a Jesus beard type dude. He got hella votes. And I went to his shit, this dude is like incredible freestyling. Cause he was in the thing in the in his little uh, interview thing, he was like, bro, if y'all put me on this cover, one thing I tell y'all, y'all get an incredible freestyle. I was like, huh, can you freestyle? So then I went to this nigga thing, all his songs, I'm like, this nigga can really like <laughs> Freestyle, like motherfucker got some some skills. The freshman list look like anybody's going to be developed. If they go by based off the niggas with the views, all the Where's main the niggas that we know. Which guard was doing disappointing numbers though? Some niggas we thought would do. Like J. Crit wasn't doing the numbers. Famous Dex, stupid numbers. J. Crit, he was kind of low. He was like in the same. 
category with uh like little baby. They was all in that sixty, seventy thousand views. Whereas like Max X them was at one million type. I shit. wanted Max right. and Cream to get on there, man. He was on there again trying out, but he was in the low numbers and right. shit. It wasn't that many females. So you just Kari, seen Joe, you Kari just, Fox was on there. You just sent your freestyle in there and then it just you get yeah, you gotta make a video, an XXL video. It was a I mean, it was at least a hundred and some people. Yeah, on you that gotta thing. make your own video and then they pick then they they look at your video, then they Because people get to go view your shit and mm -hmm. go and go vote. Right. So they go based off like, you know, the top views. And then they be like, these are all the niggas we really looking at right now. Mm -hmm. And then everybody go check them out. And whoever get the most votes get caught up. They take another large group of them and call them up. To do the like the little interview shits that they doing now, the yo, this is why I should be on the and then they just cover. and they just pick the top nine niggas, yeah. and then that's one special person that the, you know they pick or whatever, right? Like but, the one promising person, but the list gonna be nasty this year. I think I think all that shit talking. I think when the people see it at first, they gonna be like, va va va. They ain't gonna think it's sweet, but I'm like, bro, these niggas that they put on here, if they go ahead and let niggas on. It's probably going to develop into some sweet shit. Because T Grizzly in the freestyle, I like NBA Youngboy if they let him on. That's going to be a big L because him, that girl shit, really going to. What he do to the girl? The, the snatching her up on camera, nigga. The reason he got in trouble in the first right. place. That, that yeah, shit was a big ass deal. And that. that's kind of like a famous Dex got it and couldn't get on. And it's like if Dex do get in this year, it's like, do you let, do you let this nigga NBA go on and get in? It was kind of a little bit way worse with NBA Youngboy than it than was, it. but NBA Youngboy for real, they they gonna put them in. Cause I see the angle they going, they really trying to get rappers this year. Last year they got cheated. <coughs> they picked some bullshit ass people, but nobody for real could like freestyle do that. Yep. NBA Youngboy them, they know they gonna bring them boys. <laughs> Famous Dex. He six nine gonna make it. He's definitely making it. Like that's like that's automatic. And he was like, you know what? I don't even want to do it for real. Cause he six nine. He, made like, the video he was like, bro, he made I'm bigger video than this shit for real. I don't want to do it. They took his video off. Like when the videos first dropped, and he made a complaint and made a video of academics about it. He like, bro, yeah, he trying to play me on my video. And I seen it. And I noticed that first. Cause I didn't think he was trying out. Cause he ain't had no video up for like the first ten twelve hours. Then all of a sudden this video turned up, and as soon as this video turned up, he immediately jumped over everybody else in views. Like mm -hmm. immediately, and he came on there like, bro, I don't know if XXL read or what, but they didn't have my video up and was trying to cheat me on my views, and I, I was like, he won. I low he didn't see his shit, and it wasn't up there. I seen it, and then I seen it go away. Like when I refreshed, it was gone. I'm like, fuck, can't watch that, and I couldn't find it no more. So I'm like, fuck it. So that should be probably interesting. Probably see it more because niggas probably wanted to see it and then talk, who knows. And, and then that's the thing with 6 9 like, <clears throat> he using, the, the approach that he using is really topping him on, like. Yeah, because now that he just said that he the highest rapper, it's like, almost like he's speaking everything into existence. Because, like, this, as soon as he starts saying it on the breakfast, I'm like, is he really the hottest rapper? Now everybody's like, is he the hottest rapper? And now everybody's like, Maybe he's the he hottest rapper. No. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? That's how this I'm not, saying, I'm, I'm not saying this is the situation, but when he was when he like when he was saying shit like that, it took me back to 06. I'm like, when I heard Wayne was like, oh, the both of them which is, both of them <laughs> the YBN boys is dealing numbers too. Almighty and Amir. High ass. I need them to start I think both of them are going to get in. I need for to, sure. I'm like, oh shit, both them are. Almighty J can rap better than YBA and Amir, but I fuck with Amir. I don't know. I just fuck with his style more. Almighty getting the clock because he would. He, 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 he with he, Black he, China he, and she's literally is doing all these pictures with this nigga and he's everywhere. You, he been at the games. Is that he been the sleeping. He, in his dick he, he been. Nah. Are you sitting in his dick set? No. Nah. So nah. how you with somebody in Black China and then. Suck one niggas dish. I just got like when, when that shit came out, he got it. Yeah, and, and I, you feel me? I don't even blame him. He, he my bro. Nigga. For him, he, he eighteen, bro. bro. He like, bro, I'm 
I got I black know. China, bro. I'm 18. I got black China, nigga. She had to get And I got a record deal, nigga. Because in his world, he like, bro, I'm going to fuck what she is to y'all. Nigga, I'm 18 and I got her. Right. She driving me around on her shit. So he doing his thing. The mirror up there is stunting too, though. With his little videos and stuff. But they all be trying to. He had to that baby it. beef with Tay K, man. I wish Tay K wouldn't get hit with life, cause. Oh, yeah, man. That would have been crazy. Definitely not getting that. Definitely not getting that. He would have been fucking guilty. Right. <laughs> now, he ain't got hit with it yet, but. I'm like, niggas are snitching. Oh, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. We got our next, man. That, that's it for real. Yeah, that's Hello. it. Yeah, man, we had a pretty lengthy oh, episode, man. We good. <laughs> Hold on, let me. We good, man. We love y'all. All right. We about to get ready to get it up. Get it. This is the back of the class. Yeah. Yeah, yes, indeed. <laughs> Fry, man. Love y'all niggas, man. Happy Easter, man. Holy shit. They don't pick a quarterback and they Eli. <laughs> And they about to rebuild, because if they trade Beckham, it's over with. We know they rebuild it. All right, and Beckham, I don't know. He just too much. She done got caught with the videos. I understand he good and all, but New York. He let the celebrity get to him. You could tell by that motherfucker. Right. Off, but it was a and and I just think it's ridiculous he that he asks for that, that check and telling these niggas, like, bro, I'm about to sit out a whole nother offseason if I don't get paid. Because he's a celebrity, bro. <sighs> you just broke your shit. And you ain't played a whole season, and you getting caught with questionable drugs, and you about to sit out and tell me you ain't gonna play? But he's Odell Beckham. Oh yeah, so that nigga got gotta go. go. Okay, let's get back into music. What's up with your boy, man? It was a sad day yesterday. My nigga Fab, man, he got locked up, but he ain't do no time. <laughs> he just know he got that dodo, so. He fucked up. But, but he, he yeah, he's he about that to That video in. is bad. I, oh, they put the video footage out? They got the footage of him when he, the dad. They got that footage out. It's out. Oh, so, he put the dad up? No, so the dad and Emily was outside. Bab had his security guard. Emily he pulled up in the truck. He pulled up in the truck. You can see Fab coming out like, bro, got a bullet with your, with your name on it. He was out there talking that shit to that nigga, was about to whoop his ass. Emily tried to say something. He came up on her like, man, you don't move out the fucking way. She screamed back, trying to jump back. Then she came back over on the side, and he he seen her with the camera in his face. So she was about, he was about to walk back up on her again. But so the security dude was trying to hold that nigga back. And he kept going over at the dad, too, like, man, I'll fuck you up. It was Ooh, crazy. Her dad? Yeah, her dad. Because she, apparently, he beat her ass. Two teeth fell out. Yeah. Not so then the dad was out. at the house with the, the dad was at the house and they I guess was getting the they shit. Married? Yeah, yeah. Fab pulled and he up. Just had his baby. He they hid the baby. guns. They hid the guns. Fab pulled up. He was about he to fuck them guns. up. The guns in the house because Fab was about to Fab, smoke them he niggas. From Brooklyn, bro. But the guns was just bro. This is all bad. What Fab is going down. What with. did his girl do? We don't know about that. We just know the shit that he right, did. That right. He's doing. All yeah. you're seeing is the reactions. Like, what the fuck is he so mad for? Like, why would he you punch her teeth out? That story came out before the video came out. Nah, but nah. We don't know. Oh, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in L.A. Yeah. He was in L.A. She lied. And she lied. He was in L.A. And then he woke up and he like, she in L.A. too. He found out on Instagram. He didn't know she was there. So he poured down on him. He was another nigga. Uh, I don't she, know she about that. You. Oh, I guess I, 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 He said oh. he caught her with another nigga. And it was another nigga that was working with him and all that. He was sorry as fuck. But apparently... Fab for years been whooping around since the first. Yeah, because since since as soon first. as that came out, I seen multiple chicks on multiple networks. Like, I guess you're going to leave him this time, Emily. You've been getting your ass whooped for the ball. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, like damn. damn. Emily, I'm like, Emily. oh, shit. Emily. Yeah, like, I'm like, he took on. He punched her teeth out, though. That's sad. See, I don't know the facts of that, but it's like it's being reported by every news Man, like, coverage at this point. So I'm like, he must have did. And then he said he, he got uh, posted like, damn, you trying to break my heart 2018. Yeah, he did post that. And then, like, that's when everybody, that's when, when he post that, make that post, that's when it really just escalated. I'm so, like, hold on, no, 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 we're going to stay on this. So, go back to the, so, he, 
So they hit the guns. He was about to get shoot her and her dad. I, he pulled up, but they knew she was. He was gonna be on some mess. So apparently, like he. Uh, they was like, get the cameras out now. He he, he uh they hid the guns or whatever and got the guns off the property. So when he pulled up or whatever, I guess he was about to get it. He got into it with the dad. That footage came out. Or whatever, if him with the dad, well, a little bit of the footage came out. He beat the dad up? He didn't hit the dad or nothing. He was just arguing from the distance with that nigga. But he, you heard the whole, I got a bullet with your, <laughs> with your name on it. And that shit, like, I was like, oh, yeah, Fab was on that shit. <sighs> That's sad. But it also seemed weak as fuck because Emily had the camera out and she was jumping back. And I'm like, oh, you weak as fuck. You trying to get him to do some shit on camera. Slip up. Like, I'm like, because the way she's she acting with it. She's trying to feel better about the fact that she got caught cheating, bro. Like, after any time you catch a girl on some shit, she instantly tries to make you the worst person. She either go to some shit that you did that was horrible or try and to... He probably, and he blacked out and shit. Like, bro, you know that cheating shit that flip you a Especially whole different Mary, type of way. You know, that that baby? Yeah, like, we got a baby. Her baby ain't even, like, three yet. Like, you Oh, well, that's a long time. Especially if you beating her ass. If you hitting a woman, though, that takes a lot of your clout. Like, she, like you getting cheated on, bro, like, you're hitting her, bro. Like, yeah, you're, it's like, it, you it, hitting it, the it girl, you bro, up with like, that yeah, one. like, you, you, that, that's she what, almost need to, like, you, you need to get cheated on, bro. A nigga need to come show her, like, look, hey, look, like, important? you can get away. Like, yeah, it's, oh, okay. But yeah, come on, which one we got name? Okay, so, go ahead, Karen. Let me make sure oh, we got that last, we got that Chris Brown photo. Oh, that came Chris Brazen. Oh my God, what he do? Now they said he was just playing, but he got that picture up with him, you know, chunking out with the chick on the balcony or Chunk whatever. Out. It's not funny. about domestic violence, especially not Chris Brown. Yeah, this is, I mean, I'm like, this is playing, but I'm like, this is a terrible angle for what you is to it, get a video? Caught. It's going to be a segment from a video, and it can't be a segment from a video because you're Chris Brown. Oh, it was he pictures. can't do it. it yeah, was that was pictures to call from a, uh, it was, it was like one of them paparazzi niggas was taking pictures because he was at a party. It was like three other bitches. It was a bitch sitting right next to her smoking a cigarette. You would, one girl would look like she was trying to like, hey, stop, stop. But the other two bitches, first he took a picture of just Chris Brown like looking like he was choking a bitch out. But then after they blew, put the other the whole picture out, it was a bitch over there with a cigarette posted. The other bitch just laughing like... Like right, they could have been playing. They were. That's they what they. That's what playing, it was saying. Bro, that like, came out that it was playing. I like one this thing. It's a terrible picture to have out it's there. It's a terrible picture to have out when you're Chris Brown. Exactly. Like, and like one thing I've noticed about women, it don't matter. Women stick together no matter what. If a nigga disrespect a girl in front of another girl, oh yeah. A nation of bitches to show up and let you have it, bro. You be like, well, damn, like they all got their hand like this, like, bro. Then you like, damn, they ain't gonna fuck you, like. Do I know y'all? You can get it, but damn, niggas like, too. Niggas too, like you can't. Oh yeah, females. You and can't niggas be like, bro, niggas, niggas be the quickest to flex for it. Oh niggas God. be waiting for that. Niggas like Wait. ready on for that moment. Nigga, what, nigga? I'm getting one of these. Bro, I, I, nigga, I knocked your ass so. Oh, my God. So anxious. Bro, bro like, you know how many bro. times I have to tell another nigga, like, bro, this is my bitch, nigga. I'm gonna fuck. Shut the fuck up. Back the fuck up. She do what the fuck I tell her to do. Like, tell this nigga to back the fuck up before I drop his ass. Back up. Like, we could. Told you, nigga. I hate when another nigga try to do that shit. Like, mm -hmm. I've never done that because that's something I really hate. That that made me want to kill you for real. Man, I, you can't just let no nigga beat his girlfriend. Now yelling, y'all arguing, argue. You start yeah, shaking yeah, her yeah. about the throw, body slamming the bitch. Like, hey, fam, fam, fam. Hey, yeah, if, if, if you jumping at her, if you just walking her down, I'm gonna let you walk her down. Cause your girl deserves to be scared. It's okay to scare your girl. It's okay to let her know who the fuck you can walk your girl down. You can do the Undertaker can't walk down. Like if she just hit you, ain't nothing working. Just don't be fucked up. You just keep, you can do that. Do that. Now, I ain't saying don't defend yourself. I ain't saying go out here and just go kill a bitch. Go kill the bitch. But, like, bro, no, nigga. Like, it's just, I don't know, just dumb. <laughs> I'm like, this is turning into Mikey D's. Right. I, 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 like, so right. 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 That was like dumb. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> Chris Brown ain't do shit. 
Niggas playing with the girl. Niggas just want attention. Fuck the paparazzi. Fabulous wasn't playing though. No. That's true. Fabulous wasn't playing because he said he had a bullet for his daddy's name. I feel your pain, Fab. We need more on the story. I'm not about to judge, Fab. Right, Fab. We don't know what happened. Like, right, all right. these guys. I ain't never heard none of this shit. I know you had some fucked up. I knew you had some fucked up, T. Mm. I seen the picture because they put him up. I'm like, damn, this T. He still had baby teeth. I'm like, mm. nigga, we go. We got next, man. Yeah. Tell him how much time we got like on this recording. All right, my fault, my fault. We got Snoop Dogg's gospel album. Oh this God. nigga Snoop Dogg. And it's number one. Bible of Love. Number one gospel album in America. They ain't playing with y'all, nigga. Nigga has done it again. Reinvented himself for another genre. And he went number one. Broke records with that one. I mean, uh, now the, like, the actual sales to be just on there, I think was like 5,000, 6,000 units so, but that was enough and gospel to just that number one. So, <laughs> my bro, regardless of how we put this, Bible uh, Love is definitely number one. So I'm like, is well, gospel that way? That's kind of disrespectful uh, to say. I don't know what the active market is of it right now, but uh, that nigga went number one. Fucking crazy! Shout out Snoop, Snoop One. I gotta man. say, shout out to that nigga. I mean, you get a number one gospel album. I mean, the man figured it out. I can't say. Man, I hope he rapped like the old Snoop Dogg and just kept saying. Jesus I don't like, know. I want to know. We gotta listen to it. It's got the doggy to. dog and Jesus. The only Christ. feature that I like, seen of a gospel artist on there was Kim Burrell, and I already questioned her. Like, what did you do? Fuck them. What did Snoop talk about on his album? Because you know he was smoking in the studio. And, like, and you know he did a one eight seven. And I think he tried to be. He got to be trolling. Like I'm right, bro. You can't do no tours no, with I this. Think he, I think you he can't can, take this serious. He, he, you he can't he, go to church. Why can't he? Why can't he? Why can't he? Why can't this How nigga so much Jesus vibes walk with that this nigga. Bro, this nigga is not okay. no gospel. Let nothing. me walk you through it for one. Snoop O right now. So he yeah, got great grace in his life, bro. He still life. smoking weed. He still got GGN. He bro, still got GGN. Like he still a nigga. Bro, he still has. I my, am <laughs> like the most. I, I like. Super, I love Snoop. I'm super he religious ain't and I smoke. For the offset and them, bro, some of the most thug people can be religious. So they can go make gospel out. Why not? And it just be okay and cool. Why not? And still talk about the trap and Jesus. Not under the creator. Nah, nah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't say he talked See, about we, the trap. See, this is what we got to think. We think Snoop changed his Jesus. life. We think Snoop changed his life on these songs. We think he about to really switch it up. Nah, bro. I think it's Bible of Love. And he probably about to say some Adam and Eve slick shit to try to put some sex I in would. it. But probably use some type of the analogies. I mean, we have to listen well, to it did. because he could. If you, you seen it as like the trolliest of spaces. Yes, if, and that's what I... I'm exactly. seeing him as taking it seriously. Like, bro, like he can literally like really go through like some awakening. Like, you know what I'm saying? Talk about like... His so what you're saying is he did, he gonna do like R. Kelly did and make a real gospel album in the middle of just being R. Kelly. Yeah. R. Kelly pulled it off. I can't see Snoop. Rappers don't do this. Malice, he did it, but he switched completely. Like, this is a higher, this this dude that just did, what What did he just do? Uh, reggae? Just did reggae. And now we, now just all of a sudden this gospel, we just, I, I think this gospel is gonna be him trolling. I think he's. I don't know, man. We gotta get I think it. he going Because you can't play I with think God he, like that. I think he's about to. Don't play I think with he, God like that. Watch when we listen to this. He's gonna have some sweet, sweet smoking song. But I'm gonna be like, this is so blasphemy. But we just like, it's so sweet. But it's about gospel. But it's smoking weed. Then I'm like, yeah. It's you can make it sweet. Not a, but you shouldn't. This shouldn't be happening. We're gonna have to listen to it. What we got up next, man? We're gonna have to listen to that shit. All right, since we in the music, I mean, we had some albums that dropped. I did want to drop up into the little bit here. The DJ Esco dropped the cover bond. You don't gotta uh, send me these links, man. He uh, he's definitely on his DJ Cali, uh, Mike Will, Maddie type stuff. Basically features every song. Mm -hmm. He put Future helped him out and literally was on every song. Uh, Young Thug brung it. Young mm -hmm. Thug was on like three different songs. He had some fire. Mm -hmm. Future had some fire solo. 
Future had a fire song with Nas that blew my mind. It was a drug walkthrough song. They talked through a whole drug walkthrough. Shit was sweet as fuck. Nas definitely um, going hard with the drug legs. Every, I, it was literally like two songs out of like the 14, and I really played them. Like some of that shit got added to my actual playlist to like, I fuck with this. Like mm. this shit go hard, hard. Like, and I was really questioning Future because I'm like, bro, I think this nigga's nigga, average. Run up, run everything, nigga. I think this. Yeah, I was thinking that nigga was. Uh, right Make sure that that's still recorded. Was average as fuck, but that nigga, he definitely brung it. Uh, we also have Rich the Kid drop the album. The world is yours. Um, excited to hear about that, especially when he dropped the, the, the diss video for Lil Uzi Vert. Beautiful. Uh, shout out to Rich the Kid in the diss song on Uzi Vert. I fuck with Rich the Kid. He's hilarious. Ooh, he did leave the window open though for Uzi to really get his career back. Cause Uzi can kill this nigga. Cause it was sweet, but not sweet enough. Mm -hmm. Cause if you ever heard Uzi, you like, Uzi might motherfucking murder you, my nigga. If he really put himself together and go in the studio, he might just kill you. Maybe but he, he at the same point to where I'm like, it's good enough to where you might take this L, Uzi, if you don't respond. Because it's like Rich was good enough. You hear that diss where, uh, what's that name here? Uh, I don't know his name, Jordan or something, but he dissed uh, Tory Lanez. Oh, no, Eric Bellinger. Eric it's Bellinger. yucks. Oh, my God. It's probably the sweetest R&B diss I've ever heard. In my life. Tory Lanez, that's what you know. get. He dissed the fuck out of him. Songs, he said everything he said, everything he said everything I wanted to hear that I knew about that memory zone by Tory Lane shit. I said it from the start uh -huh. that Tory Lane's fucking album sounded like some Drake shit and everybody else shit and it wasn't authentic. And we found out. What's everybody that? just said it on the song. You still a nigga style. Oh, oh, you still a nigga shit. Like just still a nigga shit. Right. He was like, he even had the part of the song on there. He's like, I mean, I get a lot of people music. I get a lot oh of my, my music. God. I'm like, what? I love that song, bro. I, I was surprised. And I don't even, I, I knew Eric Bellinger was sweet because he do make some sweet ass R&B shit. But I don't be really listening to him like that because R&B, be like the, it's like if I do listen to r and I'll be wanting that mellow shit, that weekend, yeah. Janae Aiko shit. I don't even want to go all over weekend. the place type shit. Yeah. But yeah, that Eric Bellinger was fire. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, the weekend, he did drop a, a, a EP as well. My Dear Melancholy, I think. It was. Melancholy. Melancholy, yeah. yeah. Uh, I haven't listened to it, but definitely want to get to listen to that. It's just Snoop. I, I agree with you, Marte. Now that you want to mention that, Snoop Dogg is fucked up for making the gospel album. Now, is this another nigga that agree with? But that's just crazy, bro. You really gonna listen to Marte? That's just ignorant. How can Marte say who's fucked up? Right, that's what exactly what I was like. You gonna listen to Marte at all? Marte's opinion on who's fucked up? Come on, man. Really? That's like a more. If, if, well, I can't say it more. But we don't know where Marte's gonna be in his life in 30, 40 years. Maybe Snoop Dogg really appreciates God. Huh? What do you mean, huh? Nah, bro. He went from being on trial for murder to now he's like, he's Snoop Dogg. He do whatever he wants. He's had a celebrity basketball game. Bro, he's a grandpa, bro. He yeah, hey, bro. Man, he be chilling, listen. bro. He could really be like, man, God really. Listen, listen. play basketball. Smoke there please. is, he, there is a line, bro. Oh, There's a line that needs to stay a line that don't need to be crossed. Nope. There's the shit that we fuck with. That's our shit. So you say that only certain people can talk about God. Nigga, if you, you in church and you really actually, you, say, no, you, you should be out here rapping a full album. album. Bro, you can have a guy. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Yeah. You know what, G? Yeah, so you basically G, saying G. only certain people are Rappers good pay enough. respect. Should rappers pay respect. They had a one song they want to say God, boom, on there. One song. One. one song. No, not no album. You Let don't do no you album. Let you don't do no album. Because if I get on this album when we listen to it, I'm telling you. And this nigga talking about smoking some weed and trying to put that and introvert that with this smoking and trying to put you in this whole world like, yeah, nigga, it's cool, nigga. Like, he, and I already know what this yeah. is done. Yeah, I already cool, know. Man. Let me tell you something. This, no, you can't tell. No, I can't this, tell you. You full of shit. shit. <laughs> I'm not full of shit. Let me tell you something. You're going to tell you all the verses God say. Girl, I'm about to get and hit this nigga with all the verses. <laughs> okay. Multiple cool. people in here agree with this Let Oh, I'm glad Thank there's you. multiple people to hear. Thank this. you. Like, listen they, to, they hear listen me. to me, sir, <laughs> so I can speak. Yeah, make them believe. Okay. From what you're saying, Snoop Dogg is not in a position to make a gospel album because he's quote unquote 
not good or godly enough. There's no person that is good or godly enough or better than other people. These people that make these gospel songs, they all have issues that may not have come to the light like Snoop Dogg's issues. Let me finish my point. I'm not about to say that. that. Nah. Like that. At yeah. his best, at your best, you are but filthy rags. That is in the Bible. It lets you know that Dumb any right man, right. no matter how good you are, you still are not shit compared to what the actual perfect being Jesus and God are. We just want an everlasting journey to get to be better. So there's no one, if we're going to say that, that he's not qualified to be able to make a gospel album or speak on God because of who he is or who he was or whatever he's done, then that's saying that there are people that are able to speak on it and there's a hierarchy and a tier level and shit like Ain't no hierarchy, no tier level, nothing like that. We all ain't shit. I got something to say on that. Now, this is my only problem with that. All right. Do you want your preacher to be smoking weed, fucking bitches? It really and, and, on, in, a, in a publicated way. And, and, be cool. to me, and still at the same time, be like, oh, yeah, God, and he can give me the word of God. Hey. Now, this is the problem with, with Media, gospel. I we know smoke. we know that in gospel. Just ask the question, then I want to let oh, me Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, I would be completely fine with that. If my if my preacher, if he literally is reading the word of God, digesting the word of God, and able to give the word of God in a way that I can understand it and help me to be able to be a better person, I'll take I'll take anything that's gonna help me be a better person from anybody that can give it to me. I would say especially if it's going to be about religion. So a nigga so doing cocaine and a nigga just out here. But if, if that he got nigga the word, do cocaine and then he literally starts telling you about some scriptures in the Bible and then you look them up and read about them and shit like that and it's actually valid. No. You can't just fucking say, well, it's invalid because yeah, you, you do cocaine. Yeah, you can. No. You yeah, can. you fucking hey, can. Hey, forget, man. Jesus. No. Jesus and them used to hang with the no. songs. No. Y'all niggas are not no. about to do that. My preacher this now is, had a past. He used to past. be in Southfield. Past. Past. He used to Meaning change. Past. Okay. Snoop Dogg's saying... trolling because no. he's still currently no. still doing. No. He's not changed. This is not a past. I think he this is an actual still going on. Oh, right, bro. I think like, you're, I think you're, you're just, y'all niggas trying to justify but something. What you're saying, but this what you're saying, saying is that you have to live a certain lifestyle to be able to be in a position to speak about do. God. And that's not no, you bro. You do. No, you don't. You can't no, sit you here. Don't. Any person, let me put it like this. No, any, any oh, person no, can't put, sit up here. No, let me put it like this. Any person that you might feel might be living a life that's suitable to be able to speak about God, you're all, you're, what you're on, saying, bro, it's like you can you're step up and you can sin. You could just wait up bro. tomorrow and be like, bro, I'm preaching. Bro, you're Man. only seeing a, pre a portion of that person's preach, life. Preach. You're only seeing a portion of that person's preach. life. <laughs> that person is not perfect at, in any way. Like, bro, like just in the Bible, it says love is patient. It's slow to rap. There are old people to get mad as fuck, quick as fuck. They still can be preachers. My aunt's a preacher. She's not fucking perfect. You cannot be. There's no perfect but perfect. They're living. A, it's a certain standard of life that you are living. That people that are. Yes, yeah. you are supposed it to is. attain to go to something. But that doesn't mean that there is a level to where you. Okay, you've reached this level. So now you get to talk about God. Like, no, you can talk about God whenever. There's nobody who can tell you that you cannot Man. tell people so, who God is and how God is. is bro, what you are understanding is in this gospel music, this is like. Since Snoop done dropped the gospel album, bro, a transgender gospel, person, a transgender listen, person, can this, drop man, a gospel this man, album, is go, bro. this man gets because of this gospel album, he can just go to churches and try to tell people how to live life for God. I ain't saying that he can tell, bro. That's yes. what it's going to implicate yes, by you bro. dropping out album being number one. If they this decide is what you're to listen doing. to him, or if he says something that helps enlighten their life, and also, bro, you're not. I think that you're you're so on the point of it being a troll that you're not looking at the fact that this is. Yeah, you don't know Snoop Dogg personally, bro. You don't know his life. You don't know that he's not shit, bro. You don't know, about you don't know what the fuck that he done done and what he done been through and where he's at in his life and what he might, how he might have grown. He might literally be a person, bro. He might have seen some fucking crazy shit and still be alive, bro. He might thank God for that. So, man. so for you, and there's different people that all have. Bro, God chooses different people to give their introspective and their story in different ways. He always chooses the craziest. Just like Takashi 6 9 bro, he just told his own story. Everybody's telling their own individual story. And the reason that they're telling their story is because they're relatable to other people. 
There's a lot of niggas that are like Snoop Dogg. Old ass, sixty year old niggas that used to be Crips that really ain't about that shit no more. Don't want to do that shit no more. And maybe they might. But wanna... he still is about that shit. Like so, that's what I so, keep saying. Maybe they about that shit. Who cares? See, that's switching the whole narrative from maybe bro. It, 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 it can be a soldier for the Lord. Yeah, bro. But that's gotta ignorant. be a bitch just because he fucking likes you. That's ignorant. Bro. That's I'll be on, bro. That's I'm like Jesus, no. I still can be on track. No, bro. You, you what, basically at that point, track. that's basically saying, bro, there should be no Everything type of. Jail, bro, there's no basis to this at all. Nigga, but a lot of in jail, no bro, basis bro. to this. All I'm saying is, Kevin, is this. no basis to this there's at no all. That's no what I'm basically perfect, saying. Per, there's no perfect person. There's no world, person. Bro. There's no level that you have to get to to be able to to speak about God, bro. They're like, there's no level, bro. None of us are perfect, bro. None of us are ever going to get to that level. None of us are ever going to be... Gee, reach your wife, but there's a difference between not being perfect and hitting the club, then making the gospel apple after the club. That's what I'm saying. We, you, What your justification is, I feel you wholeheartedly. If I was like, oh, yeah, bro, this nigga Snoop Dogg. There's no higher. He done scenes, switched up. Bro. There's no he higher. He done switched scenes. up everything. He doing his different way. He used to do that, but he don't do that no There's more. No higher so he got scenes, this way, and I respect him because he don't do it no more. There's this is no, a nigga who's still doing it. Bro, he's like, you know what? Where in the I'm Bible? Make a gospel where in the Bible does it I'm say still, that this is worse than this or this is worse than this? Like, bro, everything. No, bro, there's no higher. This is sin, bro. You don't gotta be sin, literal. Bro. We gonna switch. We gonna switch <laughs> topics. But sin is sin, bro, and we all sin, and none of us are perfect, bro, and all of us can speak about God whenever the fuck we want to, bro. Sign, you dog. You said what? Did y'all bring up the God of War? Nah, nah. All right, so let's jump into the video game world. It's a game I don't play, but I enjoy watching others play. That sounds so gay. Greedy gay. But like, nah, it's just it's not my type of game. Nah, a lot of niggas like watching people play games now. That's why there's less plays and Twitch and streaming. Right. I, I watch that. I do that for now. Like, it's a game. Like, we talking about God of War. Like, that game. I like. That was a game that I never like. I never had it because it wouldn't. It was something that was gonna never get played on my behalf. But. God of War, like, like your cousin's house awesome, and watching them play it, it was cool. Like, it's just, I just want to see the game, but maybe seeing these niggas play it might change my mind on wanting to get the game. It's just, God of War just never did nothing, but this new one is looking sweet. I don't know, I might jump into it. I like, I jumped into Shadows of War. Like, I had the first one, but I played it for like, maybe like, a week or two, and then got rid of it. Like I ain't really get into it, but this, the new, the second one, I really, I'm like really into that game. I just ain't played it in a minute because I think cool. God of War. If you play single players, that's probably like the top tier of the PS4 as you can get. Like it's like, all right, bro, if you want to play the best in the single player world, no, well, because the Last of Us, well, Last of Us, Last of Us as well. Yeah, the Last of Us got like, some heavy hitters for Sony this year. It's confirmed. Hey, it's gonna be a neck and neck. I'm not gonna lie. We know God of War is about to be. It's he, gonna be. It's nice. at the very worst. It's an eight point seven five, and that's giving it the worst. I think it's gonna be like a nine. If we bro. know it's hit nines, because it's it's pretty much guaranteed.